Welcome back to CG Addicts to a brand new video. Today's going to be a little bit different as you can tell from the camera pointed directly at me versus seeing a screen uh, as you see in the background you see my monitors and everything. So today's a little different. It's actually a video with two people. It's a common, it's a collaboration video between myself and a buddy of mine named Miguel. He goes under the YouTube name Migsu. Uh, go check his link out. Uh, but it's going to be a pretty long video today. It's basically a tutorial video today on how to learn how to play Dragon Ball Super and kind of just going through uh, nice easy games of Dragon Ball. Uh, I do debut Beerus as well as my Jiren Apes deck so you guys are welcome to see those and if you guys do want those uh, decks or any of the content or anything that you guys are seeing leave a comment down below but today's video is solely for learning it's going to be mainly for everybody who's getting into Dragon Ball Super uh, there's a lot of questions Miguel asks that are very good questions for starting players. He does some of the few mistakes that starting players all make. Nothing wrong with that. So if you guys want to learn this game, this is a great video for you guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe down at the bottom. Hit that little subscribe button down there. At the end of the video, I will be leaving Migsu's YouTube content creation link on the video. I'll also be leaving my Nerdy Academia's Discord as well as his YouTube link down in the description below as well as basically little buttons up in the upper left and upper right to click on so that you can go ahead and get to their channels as well as I will leave a link to my new team the team Virginia, Vegeta Saiyan Army down in the link below so if you guys want to check out their Facebook page or their YouTube channel I'll leave the links down below thanks guys yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, my, my competitive level all actually done uh, I run Dren Apes so when I want to run an actual competitive level deck, or I run Demigra. Oh, so actually, okay. let me uh, grab those real quick. This is the box I usually take uh, Demigra in. And then I have a custom printed Metal Leader card. That, as you can see, okay. is huge. Can you use those? Can you use those? I So we can, as long as you have the real Leader card. Oh, so okay. the real Leader card you, you because of... Cease. Yeah, so it also depends on uh, what tournament you go to. Uh, okay, so the it. tournament will tell you whether or not you can. Uh, usually what people will do is, on tournament level, they say nothing can be on the play mat. That would, uh, so like no custom leader cards, no water bottles, nothing. Yeah. So what, this, what happens is this would end up going, so like the leader area is right here in the top left. Yeah. What you'll end up doing. I have too much crap being made. So you'll put the real leader card in your leader area. Okay. And then this would and actually go start. off the play mat uh, to the left. Go well, off the play mat. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that it's not technically breaking the rules of the uh, tournament. Gotcha. And usually that's like regionals and national levels, so that's not. You're not allowed to do that. Gotcha. And then what you'll end up seeing is decks like this that are fully arted out. Yeah. So like Judge Promo, further, yeah, further Instruction Chopper's uh, Judge Level, uh, Foil Power Bursts, Foil Instant Transmissions, SPR Gohans, uh, Judge Level 2, Supreme Kai Time, uh, Foil Dark Control, Foil Encroaching Darkness, Foil Prince Strikes Back, SPR Temporal Destruction, Foil Broken Seal, Foil Regular Print, uh, True Power Unleashed, Foil Dark Mass Sand, Foil Making an Entrance, Foil Conqueror of Evil, Foil Tenacious, Foil Frigid. Uh, I like the uh, Power Boosters of Dark Mass Sand better. I like the art more. Yeah. Uh, foil Petrifications, and then of course your SCR. So I use Rebellu, or I can use Demigra. Dude! Yeah, so my, uh, that deck is a lot more costly than it should be. And then on top of that, I got, this is technically sideboard, but this can't be sideboard, so I would have to take that out. Uh, you can't have two SCRs in your deck, no matter what. Really? Yeah. So this, you a, this a thing? Yeah, you, can't, oh, you can't even sideboard an SCR. So this would come out of the SC, this would come out of sideboard completely. And sideboard would be the SPRs, Bardox, Vegeta... Some rebellion hammers, food mission accomplished. That would be a true sideboard. And just kind of depending on the meta is 
how I choose which SCR money, whether it be Revelu or it's going to be uh, the Meager itself. But that's one of my competitive levels. <laughs> and then you, Metal box. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, when I take my competitive decks, they go in different box styles so that, uh, one, it, I can tell which one's the deck I'm playing. Yeah. And two is just because it's more protected. Yeah. Because, you sure. know, you have to travel table to table in order to play. Yeah. And I'd rather not travel, like, with just it in a regular box. Just... But, like, what I'm working on right now is, uh, Surge Cell, or uh, Broly, Cell Surge, and the new Bardock leader that came in the anniversary box. Oh, yeah, so I saw you open, looks like you opened it because you got the sleeves there. So I was oh, yeah, I got, uh, all, I got four boxes worth. Nice. Uh, I got pretty much, actually, everything I wanted out of it. Uh, nice. I got play sets of, like, yeah, this is going to be cumbersome, I'm trying to move this around. So, like, I got play sets of, like, Great Sandman, Infernal Villainy Cell, Paragus, Krillin, yep. the Four Star Ball. I got another Gogeta ordered. Uh, I got another Pit Deadly Vanguard and Turning the Tides. Uh, I got another Hatchiac ordered because this is the promo. So it goes into the Hatchiac oh, deck. Yeah. Uh, I got some of the Gokus ordered. I got enough Strikes Back, so I didn't need that. I got enough Terrifying Hordes. Nice. Um, you always I, try to get a place out of every like the cards. Um, it depends. So, um, like some cards, like the Demon God, uh, Demigra. You already saw I had yeah. a place out of that in the Demigra deck. Now I have another yeah. place out. Yeah. Uh, I already have a place out of the Great Apes, but now Damn. I have three more of these. Uh, obviously I don't need a place out of Mass Saiyan. Yeah. And I definitely don't need place out of further Destruction Choppers. I got Judge level promos of that. Yeah. So, like, there, there's cards that I don't need play sets of. It's just, yeah. like, it's nice to have an extra play set. Like, it's nice yeah. to have an extra one of the uh, Demon God Demigras. Um, but, like, some of these cards I've never, I actually haven't owned. So, like, uh, like, Gogeta. I've never owned the Gogeta. Yeah. Uh, I don't have enough of the Hatchiac promos. I think I have one right now, so this gives me my playset yeah. so I can build Hatchy. Yeah. Uh, I don't have this Goku Black. Mm -hmm. I never had a playset yeah. of that. Um, and the rest of these I do have playsets of. So I try to get playsets of cards I don't own. I always try to get uh, like super rares and rares. Um, and then you see kind of a stack over here of all the EX cards. That actually is going in a binder because that's what is my actual collection. So foils and just in general, the uh, four of will go into a binder. Yeah. As part of my collection itself, which is yeah. cool. With that. But the nice thing is, you got some really good cards in this set that will actually help your red deck. And the um, anniversary box. Yeah, the anniversary box has some nice cards that you can use a lot of cards in. Uh, let's see. Uh, like the reprint cards. Um, so like that Demon God, uh, the Migra, that is a high value card for almost any black deck right now. Mm. Like, it's really good. Hatchiac promo, that's in the Hatchiac deck. So, I mean, it's a great card. Uh, Paragus isn't being used right now. Great Sandman, for some odd reasons, up there in price. Further in Destruction Choppa, that's in damn near every single yeah. deck. Yeah, so FDC. For red? Oh, no, for every deck. Every deck? Readers, readers Ability. When you combo with this card, choose one of your attacking cards. Again, ooh, yeah. So it's a double striker automatically. Yeah. So any card you swing with, leader, unison, or I think it's just leader, yeah. unison. Nope, attacking cards. So leader, unison, battle cards. Anything that you combo with this guy, this further destruction choppa, gains double strike. Damn. So it goes from a nice, easy card you pay to FDC it, it's not a yeah. double strike. And that's in combo phase, so that's after they've said no to negates and no to blocks. Mm. So essentially, it's a guaranteed, I want to try to hit you for two unless you out combo me. But it's also a plus 10k, so. Yeah. You know, if you swing with, say, 
a 20,000 guy and then you combo with Tapa, now he's 30,000 double strike. Mm-hmm. Oh, and let's not forget if you give him crit or if he already has crit or anything else, FDC is just adding to it. That's a lot. 10,000. Yeah, so I mean, it's a super combo that costs two, but it it's not just a super combo, it's a double striking ability. <laughs> so FDC is pretty much what an is, every What's this one mean again? The one below? Oh, shit. That's the cost of the combo. So you need to tap oh, two in order to combo it and give it plus 10,000. Okay. Oh, let's see here. I know I brought out a bunch of decks I was going to use for you. So that's not totally death. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if I bring my apes out, yeah, that starter deck ain't going to help. Hi, Spam Risk. Nice for you to call. Here we go. Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the starter deck, John. Yep. Go. <laughs> I'm going with a very slow build. Oh, once again, I'll cut. This is probably my slowest. Deck build I own currently. Yo, just just use um the other starter deck. <laughs> oh, you think I have the starter deck still put together? That's funny. A lot of those starter decks are pulled apart almost instantaneous. Nah, that, I got you. So this is Beerus. Yeah. This is actually his reprinted version. Not the original. Um, this version is auto win this card attacks the leader card. Choose one of your uh, choose one. Choose one of your boats panel cards with energy cost two or less or KO it. And mm. or draw a card. Uh, his awaken is four or more energy. Or my life is four or less. Draw a card and choose one of my energy. Switch it to active. He is blue. His awakened side is permanent when your opponent's life is four or less. Anytime this card would deal damage to your opponent, choose up to one card of your drop area and place it in your energy and rest mode instead. So essentially Ooh. if I attack you with this guy, Damn. and you have four or less life, instead of you taking a life, I put energy down. Yeah, shit. Uh, auto when this card attacks, choose one, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, three or less, KO it, or draw a card. The reason this guy's so fun in his activate main at the bottom here is activate main, tap 16, you win the game. What? <laughs> yes. Well, you are getting energy though when you're. So he's energy ramping. Yeah, this is yeah. an energy ramp deck. But I feel it's just a wee bit different. Damn. Six. Tap sixteen. Yeah. And when I was telling you earlier, like I don't need to hit deadly vanguard. Mm-hmm. Th- there's the OG playset. Mm. Of hit deadly vanguard. What's what set is that in? A uh, hit is in draft box DB2, uh, so it's like a draft box 3, 4, I think, 4 or 5, actually. Yeah. Because so draft box 1, 2, and 3 didn't come with draft box cards. They came with e, uh, EX cards and booster packs. Yeah. Like, it was truly made to be for a draft-style play, yeah. and then draft box all of a sudden became their own thing. Yeah. So it's like, okay. But this, by the way, this is my sideboard. The red sleeves are my sideboard. That's main deck. And I got stuff like Abuni, which you've probably seen in most meta blue. Mm-hmm. This is why I don't need Android turning the tide. I have the original. Got it. Baby Golden Avenger. Sensu Bean, Mafuba, and Weiss's Coercion. So when you see a best of three format, you'll see a lot more players have answers to almost every meta deck. Gotcha. And at least they try to. Obviously not any one deck can ever answer every single deck. It can do a pretty good job of it, though. Like uh, the original Universe 11 deck build, deck build I have actually would be a pretty fun one to try to play against right now with the current meta. Got it. Mainly because a lot of the current meta is board swarm and hand control. Mm. 
So it does a lot of like, oh, I'm going to put out 30 guys out here in the battle area. Mm. It's like, uh, yeah, no, we're not playing that. Uh, the old Universe 11 deck, it's not so much that it could deal with all of them, it just made you not be able to attack with all of them. Because mm. it would do stuff like Kakaxa, which would tap down something, uh, Flying Nimbus, make it so you can only attack one more time. You know, simple mm. stuff like that. That made uh that made it really hard to attack with like twelve or thirteen guys. Yeah. So I was like, eh, okay, because at the time of the original Universe Eleven, I remember it was Goku's lineage that was stupid powerful. Mm-hmm. And Goku's lineage could swap out one to twos, twos to threes, threes to four, four to five, five to eight. Mm. For like one to four energy. So you would play the 8-drop Higher Mastery or the 8-drop SCR Goku's Lineage for 4 energy. <clears throat> or even in some cases, 2 energy. Jeez. Yeah, it was broke. And it was fast, it was aggro, it was just broken as hell. Um, and then at the time, too, they had like Bardock the Pretender. So like turn 2, they were self-awakening. Because Bardock the Pretender would come out, play, swing... You would uh, grab a card from your wife, it'd get bigger, you'd swap it out, then play Bardock and Pretender for free again. God. Yeah, it was just... And then uh, Shui Gesh was still a thing for super combos. So what you would do is like you would play Bardock, swing with him, you'd get yourself down to four or less. You wouldn't use Bardock again except for energy or... Uh, for a combo power. But what you'd do is like you'd bring out your three or four drops... Or even your five drops, swing with those, combo the super combo Shigesh, Shigesh would then play a four drop or less. Hmm. For free. So you pay play another swap mechanic on your board. So if you combo to all four of your Shigesh in one turn, you would get four more guys coming onto the board. Wow. All with swap capability. Okay. And, and you and you play them all for free. Yeah. Damn. But Shigesh is now banned, Barak is now banned. So a lot of the Shui Gesh never needs to be not banned like that. That's a good ban. Bardock could come off the ban list because it's really answerable now. At the time that Bardock got banned, there was no answers for cards hitting the battlefield. There really wasn't. There was no such thing as counterplay at the time. It was counter counter and counter attacks, and even our counter counters, one of them was banned and limited. Mm. Like Bad Rain Laser was banned. And then uh, Cold Bloodlust was limited. But, so I'm assuming you went through your cards for the most part. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it made sense for the most part. Alright, cool. So, simple enough then. Take some, take some, stiff, uh, some stuff like. Uh, well, That's so nice that you get a Merciless Barrage in that deck, too. Like, what's, what's the deflect? What's that? Reflect oh, crap. It means I can't yeah. uh, hit it with a counter counterplay. Really? Oh, yeah. Shit. So I can't counterplay that. Ooh. So I can't use like a god ceiling technique on it or anything like that. Okay. Bear means well, it can't be targeted. Bear can be targeted. Deflect can't be countered. Okay. Yeah. So deflect what? allows the play to happen, but I still could like target with, like negative fifteen thousand with like. A red counter attack. Okay. But uh, I can't counterplay it. Gotcha. Um. What's What's unique? What does that mean? If it's it means unique? only one can be played on the battlefield at a time. Oh. Um, okay. Um. So now. Uh, I'm guessing you pretty much understood like the normal concept of the cards at this point, because I know I remember we've discussed it a few times now on kind of the layouts of the cards and everything else. So really, what we need to do is teach you how to play. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So your leader's in the right area. It's just on the wrong side. You're on the awakened side. So your awakened side is easy to figure out. Top left corner says awakened. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, my bad. Uh, you you'll see a lot of players. Is this my is my camera like? Inverted by any chance? No, your camera's good. Okay. 
But uh, you'll see a lot of players do what you see me here have, which is a pro fit into a regular sleeve into a top loader. Okay, yeah. So when you're playing like a... with it, yeah. It's mainly like a... so that we can, you know, awaken without damaging our card. Uh, that's, geez, that's smart. That's smart. Because you know, when you're with your deck, your deck's always in your hand. Yeah, you're right. Or it's sitting on the board. You're not messing with your deck as much as you are your leader card or even your hand size. All right, all right. There you go. We're official. So that's what you'll see most of the time in official play tournaments is these guys will have the top loaders. Got it. So every time someone sends you a top loader, I like to keep my top loaders, but that's also because I build, you know, 30, 40 decks. Yep. So I have 30 or 40 leaders that are all in top loaders ready to play and play against people. Gotcha. All right, so you want to shuffle decks like usual. And then I know the rules from the game say you could do rock, paper, scissors to determine who goes first. Yeah. What do you want to do? Most everyone's going to roll some dice, yeah. That's mostly yeah. what everyone's going to do. In fact, that's why the uh, some of the new uh, like little deck boxes come with these dice. So Man, right now, I'm excited, yo. I'm excited to play. God damn. So yeah, these are the two dice that's currently come in a couple boxes. The uh, orange and what's blue. The, where's the orange one come from? Uh, they're both not like... Uh, I think they're called expert decks. They're not really decks, but oh, they're okay. uh, booster yeah. boxes. Yeah, I think like there's the Android Duality one. I think that's the expert one. Yeah, it's like an so expert one. That's what these come in. All right. All right so I got yeah, you got the blues. blues. I rolled a nine. Yeah, you rolled a nine? All right, man, come on. That's not a three? That's a three. <laughs> that's a three. I rolled a three. <laughs> All right, so I'm going first. So yeah. the night the... So draw. Yeah, so you'll draw six. Six, got it. Oh, yeah, I can show you my hand. I can't show you my hand. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, we're just kind of learning. It's like you see, All this right. is my hand. So now, usually what you'll see is players very quickly kind of turning things over. That What you'll see players do is pretty quickly, like for your deck, for the most part, we don't have to worry about uh, pitching cards in order to mulligan. But when you mulligan, you're going to mull whatever cards you don't need. Like, okay. So I got it's like Pokemon. It's like Pokemon, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're not, yeah, you're just mulling whatever cards you don't want. Like in this hand, I don't think I need a 12 drop in opening hand, right? Yeah, that's... So I don't need that one. The rest of these, uh, the super combo, I could probably keep, but I'll probably mold that. So I got two sensu beans, heroic prospect, and Lisa's destruction aid. So I'd keep those. So I mold two. I'm gonna mold two. I think. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with my gut. Now, always remember that when you are playing, make sure you always put your life out once you have your final hand. Oh, uh, okay. Because here's the right. thing. If you start a game, a lot of professional players won't do this. If you start a game and your life is not sitting here already, you auto lose. Huh. So if you, you start are... a game yeah. and they charge their energy and you don't have your life set aside, it's done. You forfeited that round. Damn. So if you're in a best of three and you guys are tied 1 1 and you forget that life, you just lost. Gotcha. Or if it's a best of one and you forgot, whoo! You just lost that you just lost that entire match. Sheesh. So obviously the cut shuffles kind of thing, same as normal. So once you're up to six, I don't even look at my hand once I'm at six. What I always do is I automatically put it down and I grab my top eight cards. And go ahead and put down my life area before I even start strategizing anything. Gotcha. Because what that does is that guarantees I never have that problem of, oh, I forgot my life. I just lost a match. Yeah. Stupid. How many six, right? Eight. Eight? Oh. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah, so you'll have eight life. Okay, that's like. So you'll see players do different things. Um. You'll see some kind of just lay them out. A lot of professional guys, you'll see lay them out. They'll lay them out kind of like that, where they're just all in one line, like one row. Yeah. That's um, what I'm I like to do four and four. 
because a lot of your awakening guys awaken at four. So what I do is once this life is gone, uh, then I know I'm at an awakened it. stage. Got it. Because like ninety nine percent of your leader cards awaken on four life or less. In some form or fashion. Okay. Alright, okay. There we go. Alright, so since I'm I roll the high roll, I'm going first. Yeah. So we don't need heroic prospect at the moment. Play this and play Weiss's Destruction Aid. So you, what you see first is me charging a card. It charges upside down, mm -hmm. and that goes down here in your energy. Got it. Then you just tap it sideways. That will give you your play card. Got it. Weiss's Destruction Aid has an auto. When you play this card, draw. So draw. Okay. And then it has an activate main tap two. If your leader's card is blue, beer's card. Place this card in your energy in rest mode. Got it. So, essentially, Beerus, yay. Now, usually, turn one players don't have very many plays. Uh, that's why a lot of us don't like going first. Mm. Now, the reason I like Beerus for learning is because, one, it's slower. Two, though, you notice I can draw on turn one, even though I'm the first turn player, because I play something that allows me to draw. Got it. So I don't have a hard disadvantage like most people will. Gotcha. All right. In that case, right. I pass turn. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hmm. When this card attacks, you may choose one card in your life. Can add it to. Your... Yeah, what's like like these things? Is that a good thing? Like so, intense fine power trunks. What it's tend to do is for you to self awaken. Yeah, you self awaken. Oh, so you're taking. Okay, I got it. Yeah, okay, you're that's... wanting to self awaken is ultimately what those kind of cards do. Uh, same yeah. concept as uh, Dark Power Mass Saiyan and stuff like that. They're there for you to self-awaken yourself as quickly as possible. Because once you get down to four life, that's when you'll see a lot more strategy come to play. Uh, when you're at eight life, you'll see a lot of people just kind of picking up life almost instantly. Like, the only time I'm not going to pick up life is when you crit me, which is what Intense Fine Power Trunks, it gives you critical. Gotcha. And plus 5,000 power, so... I'm not wanting to crit a life, because creating life means to go straight to the drop area. Got it. So, instead of me being able to draw the card like I normally would, I don't get it at all. Gotcha. Now, the only time I don't mind that, upside down. Well, oh, downward down. Let's see. There you go. So, right. the only time you'll notice people don't mind that is when they play decks that manipulate their drop and warp. Um, mm. There's not a horrible lot that manipulate both of them. Uh, there's decks like uh, Vajex, Hatchiac that manipulate the drop area very well, but they don't manipulate their warp. Uh, Gogeta, Black Gogeta does a little bit of both. Uh, Demigra is the only deck I've seen that manipulates the drop and warp area better than any deck I've ever seen. Hmm. Gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna play. Uh... No, 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 that's, that's, that's my block. I'm going to play my boy. Yep. I'm going to play my boy here. So, so sure I got to tap one. Yep. Auto, when this card? Oh, that's for attacking. Yep, what you can do because you're second player, so you can attack immediately. Yep. I, what's, what's, I can see like the, oh, what do you call it? The, the power on. Beerus? Yeah. He's 10,000. 10,000? Yeah, he's just like any other lead. Got it. What about the uh, what's this, what's so, that? Weiss's course? Weiss's destruction aid is in active mode. He is not in rest mode, so you can't attack him unless the card you have specifies it can attack battle cards in active mode. So okay, so you can't attack uh, uh, active yeah. battle cards. Okay, correct. That makes most sense. most of your cards do not do that. Now, okay. don't get me wrong. There are decks and cards out there designed to attack standing battle cards. In fact, I have one. It's a Yamcha build. Got it. In fact, your Merciless Barrage Yamcha is in that deck. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that's so, the counter. Yeah, so I have in that deck, it burns you for one life a lot. Or it attacks cards in active mode. If it kills them, then it burns you for a life. It's a burn deck. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, I'm going to attack. Yep. Your your uh Beerus. So, so you... that will get the auto. Yep. So you tap it down. Ten thousand. Yep. So you got to tap it down to declare the attacker. Yep. Turn it sideways like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Either way. So it also gets uh, critical. Yep. So his auto goes off. You uh, may take a life. You to do the life first. Okay. Yeah. So yep. you, because if you don't take the life, the rest of his auto doesn't happen. So he won't gain critical. Or he won't gain five. You have to go in order. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, so now he gains more. critical and plus five thousand. So this yeah. is where I could say if I have a negate or not. I do not. Uh, okay. Back to priority you, which is now where you can combo. You can make him bigger if you like. Yeah. And the way to do that is just like you see on your side cards. You turn them sideways. And they have the 0 plus 5k or 1 plus 10k, stuff like that. Yeah. So but then that means that. I will need more energy though, right? No. The 0 means you don't pay anything in order to make it bigger. Now, oh, so this, okay. Yeah. yeah now, okay. normally though, you don't see that opening hands. You don't see a lot of guys just comboing off because they need you want yeah. card advantage in your hand. Correct. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking. If you really don't so. combo, you just say no combos. Okay. No combo. And I'm sorry, I'm not critting, so I'm on combo bull ball beers to make him 15k. Got it. I, I deal with that intense fine trunks. Heal no. <laughs> in fact, yeah, I'm man, that should have comboed. I was kidding. <laughs> Alright, so anything else? Uh, you right. can attack with your leader. Oh, I can attack. Yeah, your leader can attack at, from turn one. Okay. So there is no such thing as like summoning sickness. So every card you play, the turn it gets played, you can attack. Just like you did with Tense Fine Power Trunks. Got it. So Vegeta okay. is always on your board. Your leader is always on the board. Okay, when this card attacks... Draw one card, then it gets five thousand. Yep. For the turn. So, uh, I'll draw the card. So you got the attacker. Attack. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna de uh, attack with the uh, your so beers. You'll, yep. You'll tap them down just like normal. Yep. Draw a card. Now, so usually what happens is this is oh. what so timing is. Oh wait, you're fifteen, timing. right? No, you're I'm 15, at, no, right? no, no, no. He's ten. He's ten. Oh, com okay. Combo only happens during the battle that it's currently in, unless it specifies otherwise. So okay. some combos do specify otherwise that he gains plus ten thousand for the duration of the turn versus the duration of the battle. Yeah, that's battle what I was thing. gonna ask. Yeah. So yeah, like, for the turn. yeah, so he'll be fifteen thousand for the duration of the turn. Mm -hmm. That only really helps against like people who negate and neg your guys. Now, yeah, timing wise. This is where a lot of new players get really mixed up, is timing. Yeah, yeah. And it's in this phase only. This phase only is like the biggest problem when it comes to timing. For counterattacks, blocks, autos, everything, right? Yeah. So in this timing phase, what happens is you declare an attacker. Correct. All right? If your auto goes into pending, because I have to... Your auto for that battle card or your leader card goes into pending. It, you have to wait because priority now goes to me saying, do you want to negate the attack or do you want to declare a blocker? Uh -huh. I choose if I can do those two. If I don't do those two, your auto resolves. Auto now, resolves. Okay. even if I counterattack, your auto still is going to resolve. I can't stop it because it's impending. The only autos you can stop is on a counter play. Got it. So, like, Reese's Destruction 8 is play, I draw a card. Mm -hmm. You counter play that, now I can't auto. Because this is no longer played. So that auto would stop. Mm -hmm. When attacking, though, that auto goes into penny, there's nothing I can do about it, because it went into penny before I even got priority to be able to negate the attack. Gotcha. So because of that, usually your auto, you wait to resolve it until after I've said no attack, no negates, no blockers. Then you draw your yeah. card and everything else goes into play. Now, don't get me wrong, 99% of the community doesn't care when you resolve a leader auto. We know what's going on. We get it. Mm -hmm. So usually when you're drawing a card, we're just like, okay, cool. Here's my negate, by the way. So it's fine. Just know there's picky players out there. That worry about the timing harshly. Gotcha. 
like I've played a few guys in England that were all about the freaking timing. Don't know why. They they were sticklers on I couldn't resolve the auto until after he's negated. I'm like, okay, my auto's still going off. Mm-hmm. But he's like, I know, but this is the timing. I'm like, I, I know the timing. I don't care about the timing. Because I don't care if you're negating <laughs> or not. I'm still driving my car yeah. or I'm still doing this. Yeah. So that's usually fine. So no negates, no blockers. No negates. And you've uh, went ahead and drawn. Yep. So now do you want to combo and make him bigger? He's 15k mm-hmm. right now because of his own auto. You know what? Uh... I'll tell you this right now, uh, early game, you're not going to see me negating very much. You're not going to see a lot of players negating in general. That's just the thing. Like, I was thinking, do the light? Nah, it's all, it's all good. No no yeah. combo. So I'll take that life anyways. So, like I said, you, you won't see, you'll see a lot of players almost immediately just taking a life. Um, even if you're 10k, you beat my 10k because the defender always loses a tie. Correct. Yeah. I always have to be bigger than you. So a lot of times, even if you're not, you're automatically becoming bigger, so cool. Mm-hmm. But if even if you weren't getting bigger nine times out of ten, early game like this, you're not going to see me comboing to get bigger. I'm just going to be taking yeah. life because I want to awaken too, right? Yeah. So that's that kind of where, yeah, that's kind of where it is at that point. Yeah. So anything else you want to do on that turn? Nope. Nice. And my turn. So I untap. Draw. That is not what I wanted to Opening hand. I guess I'll charge Sensu Beam. Tap that to play Bulma, God Tempter. Uh, you are red, you don't have responses to this, so auto. I'm gonna go fetching a card out of my deck. What is that? So this auto is when she plays, I get to go fetch a four drop least resting attendant out of my deck and put it in my hand. Got it. It's great for energy. <laughs> so, whenever you search your deck, obviously you go ahead and do the normal thing of shuffle and cut. Mm-hmm. It's not like I really need to stack a deck. <laughs> yeah. So I'll pull that in. Yeah. All right. See, now this is the fun part. This is what I get to do. Bear's just going to swing at your leader. His auto goes into pending. Yep. Alright, so do you negate? Uh, what What if it's a, like a blocker? What, so what blocker has to be on the board, and then it'll tap uh, down. Oh, oh, so it'll, oh, so. Yeah, it'll be in the battle area. You in the battle play, area? Yeah, you'll play then, it just like you did in Ted's Fine Trunks. Oh. And then you say, no negates, I activate blocker. Ah, okay, so blockers are on the board, okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh... So right now, it's, do you want to negate something, which you don't have energy to do, and you're not blue, so I'm sorry, you're not negating the zero energy. Yeah. <laughs> no. And you're not a four or less life, so any of your sparkling won't work. Nope. <clears throat> and then you have no blockers. Not right, cool. His auto's going to trigger. I get to choose either to draw a card or KO something to her less energy. Say goodbye to that trunks. What? I'm killing that trunks 100%. I'm not, so that goes in the drop. Yep. I am not taking crits every freaking turn. Uh, and uh, do I combo? I'm not comboing. So 10k at your leader. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yep, so pull up a we'll life combo. in your hand. Yep, so you'll just put a life in your hand. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Now here's the fun part. Those cards aren't going to attack. It's your turn. Okay, got it. Mine's not a very attack-heavy deck. Got it. And you'll see why. It's whenever. Hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. So you can kind of see my energy. So I do have one blue energy open. One blue energy tap. Oh, I got untap. I got untap. Shit. When do you untap? Uh, at, the very, you at the very beginning, yeah. Make sure your energy stays up, upside down. Oh, yeah, shit. 
Oh, you're good. You trust me. No, okay. trust me. Every single person learning this game does exactly what you just said. <laughs> Everybody. Every single player I've ever taught in this game, even when I was learning, every single one of us have turned that up upside right, upright. Every single time. Never fails. Gotcha. So do not uh, worry about that. You will make a lot of mistakes. I'll be like, don't worry. I've seen them. <laughs> I've done them. Just remember, I was in this game when it first started. Got it, got it, got it. Battling was atrocious. There you go. Like, battle phase was god-awful. <laughs> when you first learned this game, when it first came out, battle phase was the worst thing to learn in this game. Yeah. It made the... no sense. The counter windows, everything just made no sense whatsoever. Can they play a unison card since I have two? Yep, tap down your two energy and you play your unison. Okay, let's go. The new mechanics. So now that comes in with a dice with two markers on it. Gotcha. Yeah, let's put it here so I can read. Yep. Oh. It says auto limit one. You can only activate the skill once per turn across here. Okay, got that one. Um, <laughs> just in your drop area for me. Okay, that's when it's. What about the activate main? What's that? Let's see if it's like a plus one and then a minus one. So activate main is during pretty much any part of your turn that's not the battle phase. So I could activate... You can activate it's plus one right now. So it will add one marker? Is that what it yes, is? Yes, exactly. Oh. And then you do whatever that activate main says to do. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unison cards and it gets minus 10,000. So which one would you want to kill? And it gets... Minus 10,000? Will it kill your stuff? Yeah, he's only 4,000, she's only 1,000. So, oh, so it'll kill it. It doesn't it'll just kill. make it, like, zero. So, yeah, if anything hits zero, by any effect whatsoever, it's KO'd. Oh, because I was thinking, it'll be zero power, then I still have to attack it to kill it. Nope. Oh, so Once it, it hits zero it power, it KO's, yep. Because oh. those battle cards are negative 10. There's uh, negates that will negate attack. And minus 10k something. So what you'll end up doing is like countering an attack or something and then killing something else. Got it. All right. So that, that's why I'm like, okay, that makes it. But all right, I'll KO the, the Weiss one. Yep. I would have definitely KO the Weiss. Because that's going to be a mana ramp. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's that. Um, I am going to. That's now. Uh, yeah, I have no more energy. I'm gonna attack with uh, with Kaba, uh, your leader. To your leader. Yep. So go ahead and tap it down, just like you would everything else. And then I have to wait for you to negate or block, right? Yep. So I'm gonna show you what the negates in this deck do. Dimension Magic. The reason I'm playing it for free is because I tap one, and then I untap two to play it. Oh. Wait, can so, I see that? So this has counter attack. You may, uh, if your bigger card is blue, negate the attack, then choose up to two of your blue energy and untap them. Yeah, These are one cost. So I leave one blue energy untapped, yeah. and I get two free. Yeah. Yeah, but, had, though, now here, here's the fun one. Here's the fun one. Permanent, sparkling five. If I have five cards in my drop uh, area, yeah. I can activate its counter skill by taking a life, and then play it for free. And I'd have tap two energy. <laughs> Blue always runs Dimension Magic. Always runs Sensor Beam. Always. Sensor Beans. I gotta yeah. get a Sensor Beam. Yeah, these things are a dime a dozen. I mean, they're literally a, like a nickel piece. Unless you're getting specific ones. But yeah. they're, they're cheap commons. But they're used in every single blue deck. If someone's not using Sense of Being and Dimension Magic, they're probably playing blue wrong. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so I'm negating the attack. Yeah. <laughs> now, if he has uh, an auto, though, of one attacking, it goes off. No. No, this is a. Uh... Nah. Like let uh, I got a question. So like let's say this one, um, there's like an auto on the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
does it automatically trigger when your life is at uh, three? So you have to activate the, uh, you have to do the main, activate main. Essentially, it's still activate main. Yeah. Which is whatever that plus ability is on it. Yeah. Because, uh, well, not the bottom one. If your punk slides are three or less, when your mono red, same leader card's attack. Okay, so that auto happens if you have six markers on it. You can choose to activate it my D. So if my Beerus is attacking your leader. You can activate that auto, remove six markers, and Ooh, deal damage okay. to me. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. Got it. I got gotcha. you. Oh, very good. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I am going to attack uh, your Beerus with Vegeta. All right. No negates or Vegeta. blockers. Okay. Um, His auto goes off. Um. I draw, uh, then it gets fucked up for the turn, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, end my turn. Well, hold on, now you gotta finish the battle phase. Oh. Uh, do you combo? Make him bigger? Uh. Okay, so it goes, you declare attack, then you are you have to wait for the opponent to negate or block, and then you can still comp, then after that's the combo phase? Yeah, so after that, then your auto resolves, then it's combo yeah. phase. Got it. In the battle phase. You know, you know <laughs> what? You know what? Now remember, I'm still at seven life, so I'm probably not going to be like. Run. <laughs> I got a. Uh, I got a question. Sure. If if let's say I combo with this card, right? Okay. Would that be considered as this card being played? No. No? Okay. Yeah, Got played it. is going into the battle area. Now, there are cards that say when you combo with this card. Ah, okay. There you go. So, they'll specify for you. Got it. Alright, so, uh, no no combo. Same. I'll take the life. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't need that in my hand right now. And my turn. Alright, we're going to untap, draw, charge Weiss. We're going to swing leader to leader. Here's to Vegeta. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. You have the energy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I know red way too well. <laughs> There's not very many sparkling. And they're usually okay. like sparkling seven. And I think you have Damn. one card in your drop area. Keep forgetting... And you're not at four less life. Yeah. All right. Nope. No negate. All right. So uh, auto. I'm gonna draw. Mm -hmm. I don't need you in my hand either right now. Uh, let me just show you what this deck's capable of for attacking. I want combo Frieza Imperial Inspiration. It's gonna give Beers plus five thousand and critical. Okay. So I'll go my drop area then. Yes. That's Unless right. you combo and make him bigger. So he has to be twenty thousand. So you have to combo 10k. He he said 10k. Mine's at 15. Mine's at 15. Oh yeah, but I need 15. to higher. I gotta be higher. Yeah, you yeah. could be 1550 for all that matters. Or 1600. As long as you are over 15,000, you then you defend it correctly. If you tie it, uh, I win. So I could combo right now, right? Yes, it is your turn to combo because I'm done comboing because all I did was combo. My Frieza Imperial Inspiration. Got it. I'm sure um, everybody watching this video right now is like, why are you doing that so early? <laughs> I know. I got a question. Okay. Yes. When you combo... Um... Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. That's a bad... It's, it, it makes sense. All right, I'm going to combo. Um, I'm going to... Oh, wait. I don't have energy. Oh, wait. Okay. No, no, no. Right? Zero? Yeah, right? zero. Is that a super yeah. combo? Yeah. Read its auto. Oh. If your leader card is right in your life is at four or less, when this card is used in a combo, draw one. Um. Oh, wait, no. So, yeah, you can't use its full auto, but it will give it plus 10k. Yeah. So, a lot of your super combos are like this. They're zero zeros. Zero plus zero k. Because usually it's four or less life, then they become plus 10k's. 
Yours is auto yeah, plus 10k, yeah. but also lets you do something extra. Ah. Uh, so usually oh, yeah, you I'm save. Good. Yeah, usually you save your uh, super combos. Usually, but like I told you earlier, critical sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I want the card. I want the card, bro. Yep. All right. So you made 25, uh, 20k. So you win. So go ahead and put that in the drop. Yep. And uh. Hmm. That combo when it tags. Huh? Oh yeah, but I don't play too much. I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. Got it. Alright, my turn. Draw a card. On tap everything. Oh yeah. And keep forgetting to untap. Believe it or not, when this game first started, if you forgot to untap, you didn't untap. It was really <laughs> funny actually. They rob <laughs> that. They rob that. So you do on tap like magic almost. It's an auto. It just it will happen no matter what. <laughs> but it, at one point they did not specify that, so it's like, oh, you missed your untap phase. Sorry. Um. Um. See what to put in the energy. When you play this card, there's the same. Uh, I am going to put one energy. Um, just one. Leave cards or battle cards. Then it is zero. Choose a two energy. I will tap one energy. Okay. I will play uh, Vegeta. Okay. Saying use auto if your leader whoa, card whoa, is whoa, red. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? How are you only tapping one? Look at his oh, cost. Two, two, two. Yeah, two, two. <laughs> two, two. Oh, but I read the two. Oh. Tap two. Play Vegeta, saying use. Okay, now uh, what's up? Your leader card is red. When this card is played from your hand, choose up to one of your red unison cards and add a marker. Awesome. So, okay. That's so he's at four. Plus four. four. All right. Four. Go. Um, I'll leave one energy. So, I will. Uh, I will also activate. Uh, Kabas. Uh, choose up to one of your opponent's val cards. Uh, plus one marker. Bulma be dead. Of... What's that? Bulma be dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh look, no battle area. <laughs> all right, all right. It's time to it's time to attack, attack. Mm -hmm. So I am going to attack first with a. Uh, Vegeta, saying youth. No negates. No negates. Um, I am not going to combo. I'll take it. Okay. Um, I will attack with Vegeta leader. Uh, no negates. I will not combo as well. Don't, no forget, combos. His Don't forget his auto. Uh, he gets plus five k and you draw a card. Yeah. Right. And I will. I will uh, attack with Kaba. I'm swing with Kaba. Dimension magic. Got it. Negate that attack. <laughs> Got, it. Got it. All right. And I am my turn. Alright, I'll untap yours. Draw. Charge a Whis. Hmm, this seems fun. Oh yeah, that works really well. Tap four. Play Majin Buu. Salt of Agents of Destruction. 
And he's he, that has what four markers, right? Oh yeah, he's a plus four. Uh, he has double strike and blocker. His plus zero activate man is draw a card at the start of your opponent's next main phase. Switch this card to active mode, and if your leader card is blue, switch one of your mono blue energy to active mode. Negative one auto when your opponent attacks with battle cards. You may choose one of the battle cards and place at the bottom of the zoner's deck. Mm. So I'm going to activate his plus zero. Draw a card. I am going to swing lead, uh, him to your leader. 20,000 double strike. Double strike. Yep, two life. If you don't negate or... When I negate, I'm going to negate. Alright, so you have one energy to attack. Uh, All right. Do I put it in the It says... Does it say the attack? Counter attack. Oh. Read the whole thing. Well, it's a counter attack. Yeah, so the green counter attack does not mean it negates the attack. Got it. It just means you can play it during that phase. Okay, so, so I'll play it. I'll play it. Um, does it say if your leader card's red? Yeah, if your leader card is red, negate the attack. Oh, there you go. Negate See? the attack. Yep. Then you may choose one red card from your hand and place it in your drop area. If you do, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards and they get minus 15,000 for the duration of the turn. So, don't do that, because I have no battle cards. Oh. That'd be a bad idea to do right now. Because there's nothing to oh, target over here. Battle card. Yeah, I just wanted to be yeah. unison. So, you want to gain the attack, yeah. so perfect. So, that'll go to your drop area. But if you decided to go through with the rest of it, because it says you may, uh, that does not mean you have it. to. If you did, though, I had nothing to target. Yeah. So it made no sense. Yeah. But at least it negates a double strike 20k. Yeah. So that'll just go to your drop area. Then you may choose one right card from your hand. Place it. You may. Yes. Okay. Which I'm not. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Alright. I'm going to awaken Beerus, untap a blue energy, and draw a card. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I need you like I need a hole in the head. <laughs> Uh, we're going to tap one, play Lease Destruction Aid to draw a card. There we go. That works. That works so much better. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and... Swing at your leader. 15k mm -hmm. with my leader base. Uh, no negate. Auto. Uh, I'm not really worried about your Vegeta, so I'm just going to draw a card. Mm -hmm. That works. Uh, so I am uh, not yeah, combo. Take a, uh, I'm not combo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Nope. No combo. Alright. Go ahead and take that life. Take it. And then I'm going to end the turn. Majin Buu's ability triggers. Untap him, and I untap a mono blue energy. Ooh, it's a good, it's a good unison. So, question: mm -hmm. Am I able to attack your unison if it's active now, right? Yes. I can. Yes. It's the battle card that I can't attack active. Correct. You can attack unison for leader cards if they're in active mode. Okay. Got it. Alright. Uh, we'll uh, end your turn? Yeah, end of my turn. Okay. I'll draw my card. And untap? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Alright, let me, let me try to get used to the... Timing. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Alright, then I will draw my card. Okay. Um... How do I have this one? At the end of the battle, after card from your hand. Oh, okay. Um, I will. You have one red unison card in. And don't forget, too, this uh, unison's 20,000 power. Oh, 
20, your unison's 20,000. Got it. Um, I will tap one energy. I will play... Did you not want to charge an energy? Oh, sh... Naps. Yeah, now that will mess you up. If you do not charge, yeah. you do not yeah, get to charge it. any more times. Damn it. You don't have to, by all means. But just remember, I'm at four energy. Yeah, no. The more so energy, the energy. better. It depends on the deck. Some decks don't need that much energy. Some can kind of survive on four and five energy. Really? Damn. But this deck is a mana ramp deck, usually. If it actually pops off correctly. It's not popping off, so it's okay. Alright, I will, uh... I'll place an energy. Can you put unison cards as energy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you put anything Whatever. as energy. Yeah. Yep, you can put right, anything right. as energy. The only thing you so, can't put as energy is your leader. Got it. Gotcha. Which makes sense. Right. It never leaves the leader area. Yeah. All right, so now I will tap one energy, and I will play Son Goku, Saiyan Youth. Okay. Into the battle, uh, auto. If you have a red unison card in play, when this card is played, draw one card. So I'll draw a card. Okay. Um. I will kind of wanna. Mm. Is it worth it? No. Okay. I will use Kaba's uh, unison uh, effect. Plus one marker. That'll make him to six. Choose up to one of your points about cards. Minus ten. There you go. Yes. Yes. Um, how much marker does uh, Boo have? Four. Four. Or four, right? Yeah, and he said twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. Good thing. Uh, how much life do you? Can I ask if how much life you have? Yep. Is that a, four. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a normal thing. Yeah, but I'm at four, so I'm awakened. So these are counters. These are battles. Battle, battle. Yeah, Cabo's okay, Awakening is going to beef stuff. Uh, or less, okay. Battle cards. Um, so... Yeah, these are all kind of nice. Okay, so I will... Uh, attack with my leader, your unison. I want to knock him out. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh wait. You're gonna have to make. You're gonna have to combo with them. That's for sure. Just to get them down. Now remember, you only lose a marker for every amount of attack. So a single strike will only make it lose one marker. Double strike two, triple strike three, quad strike four. Gotcha. Hmm. Trying to see what the best route is. Uh, you know what? I will attack. Let, let me ask you a question. Let's say you're. I could still declare an attack even if my power is slow, right? But I'll have to combo. Well, your attack naturally goes to 15,000. So you time my yeah. current leader. Yeah. But I'm saying, um, let's say I decide to attack your boo with Vegeta, you right? You still combo and oh. make him bigger. Yeah. Okay, because I'm thinking, can I yeah. still attack since I'm lower power? Yeah, you can I'm attack with saying you, the 4,000. On anybody, as long as you make them bigger to do damage, unless you're trying to do abilities, yeah. Some cards uh, is when they attack, they do abilities, so they'll, you'll see some players attack even with lower power. Um, think of intensifying power trunks at the beginning of the game. He's at 5,000 power, you swarm, then it becomes 10,000 power with crit. Got it. So that's kind of where you'll see it change, and then also you have combo ability. Um, I will actually, um, and also I have a question. Mm -hmm. Since I use the marker ability for the unison card, yes, that it's at six at the moment, right? Correct. It, can I still trigger the the auto? On my will, turn, yes. Oh, it'll have to be on your turn. Yeah, because that's when your leader cards are attacked. Ah, okay, I got it. So oh, I got you. 
one, your your card naturally does it to where you can do that. But here's the thing: is unisons can only be activated once per turn, essentially. Ah. Uh, so, okay. yes, you've activated plus main on this turn. On the next turn, which is mine, you can use as negative six. Okay, so you can use <laughs> two, um, two unison abilities uh, per turn. Okay. Right, like That's if fine. like you can't plus one your guy six times. Got it. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. I think I have made my strategy here. All right. I will swing your leader with Vegeta. You're swinging uh, my leader. Any negates or. You're swinging my leader. Yes. Uh, no negates. No negates. So it's at fifteen right now, and I draw a card. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Uh. No combo. I'm going to activate Battle of Sensu Beam. Untap. I'm going to get Majin Blue Boo, plus 5k. Then I'm going to Super Combo Vegeta's Discipline on Beerus to give him plus 10k. Okay, so... Okay. So I lose... Hold on, i got to um, finish my auto here. Auto, I put a card on my deck. Draw two. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So yeah, so he's at 25k and he's at 25k till the end of turn. He's at 25k till the end of battle. Okay, so I so, lost that one. Yeah, you lost that one. Nothing happens to you though. Yeah. Um. But now my unit I... is up plus 5k. <laughs> plus five. And I have two uh, open energy now. He is so Beerus <laughs> is at 25. Beerus is back to 15. Oh, okay, at 15, and then. Who's uh, at 25? 25 to the end of turn. You know what? Let's go for it. Um, I'm going to swing with... Uh, I'm going to swing with uh, Vegeta to your leader. Say in use. Uh, no negates. Okay. I'm gonna combo. I'm gonna okay. tap an energy. Okay. Play uh, infinite energy Android 18. Okay. Plus 10,000. Uh, as an auto at the end of the battle, after you combo with this card from your hand, if your leader card is Universe 7, uh, it goes. You play this card in rest mode. Okay. Is that the only thing you combo? Um. Yeah, that's it. That's the only combo. No. Combo Vegeta Discipline Warrior. I'm gonna make my 25k. Put a card on my deck. Draw two. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so that's done. Uh, does it go to rest mode here? Yep. Okay. Um. The energy do I still have? Oh damn, that's a lot. That's a, that's a lot too. It's a lot of cost. Um. Uh, I will swing with Kaba to your leader. Tap one, heroic prospect, and get the attack. Got it. All right. Uh, that's it. I will end my turn. Okay. On tap. Blue is the biggest stall game ever. Charge. <laughs> now, here's where you're going to see some fun. See how my unison's at four, right? Yeah. I'm going to make my unison five by putting one of, an extra copy of it underneath. Oh, you could do that. Yep. Oh. Uh, I'm going to activate his main. <clears throat> plus zero. Let me, let me ask you a question. So, you have the same unison card, right? You could just... Um, so you don't same... need to. Uh, you don't need to uh, like use the specified cost. You could just put it under and then you're, become yeah, a marker. Yeah, you're just slipping it under to create a marker. Oh, okay, got it. So okay. activating his main up plus zero, draw a card and start your opponent's phase. He untaps and I untap on my blue energy. Mm. Uh, we're gonna tap Jeez. these two down to play West Supreme Kai of Time, which has barriers, so they can't be targeted. It has what? Barrier? Bar barrier, yeah, you're not targeting okay. that thing. So how do you knock out a barrier? 
Uh, with like a skill like uh, Kaba's? No, not with a skill like Kaba's. It has to be a board wipe. So it has to be something that targets everything on the board at once. Like a Kami's World, World Peace will take all like three or less from the battle area and put in the drop. Damn. Some barrier are kind of cheap. What the fuck? Uh, imagine <laughs> barrier with indestructible. Yo. There's this green Zamasu card that is barrier, indestructible, and blocker. How do you stop it? Uh, it stops I'm just itself. To think how it, stop it. it stops oh. itself. Uh, when you tap it down for blocker, you can't untap it. Uh, now there are ways around that, but it, it's used, it was used back in the day when you made a green Zamasu deck that was indestructible as hell, and you would actually uh, Union Patara it and use that green Zamasu as a piece. Got it. Okay, let me arrange my cards here. All right. Uh, let's swing 20k at your leader. Double uh, strike. Let's see. I will... S yes, now I could do this thing. Uh, double strike? Yes, double strike. Uh, will negate. Uh, well, I will uh, tap one energy. I will use uh, this card again. Okay. Counter attack. Negate the attack. Then you may choose one red card from your hand and place it in your drop area, which I will. Um, the, and it says choose two. If you do choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards and they get minus 15,000, well. All right, can so, I still target that barrier guy? No, no right? You can't target Kai, but you can target Heroic Prospect. All right, I'll do the Prospect. Yep, that works. Yep. All right. Do, do, do. All right. Uh, let's do swing lead to lead. Leader to leader. Um, now, if you, I'm saying this is an option. This is where you can use Cobb as ultimate, his negative six. But as soon as he hits oh, zero, yeah. he's dead. If he hits zero markers, he's dead. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Okay. I won't use it. What I'm just saying that's the time leader, leader. You got right. it. Leader, 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 leader. It's 15k. Uh, no, no negates. Uh, auto. Do I want to choose something three of us and kill it? Or do I want to draw? I always like drawing more. Let's draw. All right, so uh, no combos. No combos. Uh, no combos as well. All right, go ahead and take your life. I'll take yes, sir. Down to four now. Yeah. You see why I don't care about taking life, huh? Because now we're both tied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that work just to be tied. Yeah, it's like an awaken. And uh, I'm gonna end my turn there, actually. All right, so. Let me untap everything. By the way, the Supreme Kai of Time, or this one, this Hodge and Fire West Supreme Kai, all it does is it has a permanent that I can tap it down for energy. So you could use that for energy? Damn! Uh, this is an energy ramp. And I'm an old school player, and which I, means I know I all the ramp in this game. I can't even target it. Yep, Look. exactly. <laughs> I have a permanent one drop energy right there. Wait, wait, can you can you uh put the card on screen? I want to see that card. Let me see, let me see that card, man. Oh, it's that card. Ah. Set three. Sheesh. Okay. Got that is it. A, that is a set three card. Golly. <laughs> I told you, man. I'm all playing right. a long time. I know all the ins and outs. All right, I will. It's kind of funny, too. You don't see that card in most of the other ramp decks that have been built over the years. Yeah. So I will draw a card. My turn. And then when do when can I awaken? When is that? Uh, really at any time. Really? You can any activate time? in the middle of a battle. You can activate it now. You can activate it in my turn during a battle. It's really like really at even any point even at your turn I can activate. Yeah. So if I so like say I swan again after you got the four life. Yeah. You say no negates, no blockers, right? Correct. My auto goes. No combo. Uh -huh. I combo, or I don't. Mm -hmm. 
then yeah. you can go, okay, I awaken. And then you uh... can even... Stupid. By some chance. Yeah, so, well, here's the thing, too. So, say you're there, right? I was still my awaken leader. Well, during your combo phase, you can awaken, do his awaken, which is like untap one or draw one or untap two or draw two, whatever it is. Yeah. Then you can combo. Yeah. So, say he has an awaken, untap one, draw one. Yeah. And you were tapped out of energy. Yeah. And say so you awaken, you untap, and you drew. Now you can combo, say a super combo or a one drop combo that makes him even bigger so that you can get through whatever he's, how big he is. Yeah, got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. But now that you're at four or less life, I'm never going to hit your life again. At least I would be Yeah. Now, also a question. Yes. Do you, can you choose when to, like, this, I don't have to awaken now, right? Nope, That's you don't saying. have to. Uh, you can awaken whenever you really want. Whenever, you, whenever I want. Yeah, there's certain timing things that you got to deal with when it comes to awakening, but that's about it. Got it. Damn. All right, I'm gonna awaken anyway. Uh, what is it? You have a red unison card with a specified. So if I don't have that. Uh, it says when your life is at four or less, or or you have, what does that mean? Or you have a red unison card with a specified cost of two in play. So essentially, that unison card when you played him on turn two, you could have awakened Vegeta. Oh, so I don't need to be at four or less. I could have awakened him at already. Cause and of then, the yeah, and then what you would have done is you would have taken life until you were at five life. So if you wake in turn two, you would take him life, put it in your hand, put it down to five, yeah. and then you yeah. and then you also would have drawn, or and then you would have untapped two of your energy. So turn two, you tap two, play Kaba, awaken, untap those two energy, take life down to five. Now you're awakened and you have your Kaba on board. Jeez, let me switch up the two. Then. Damn. And then if you played Kaba, then you get a marker to it as well. So now he's a three. So now your Kaba's a three. And you've awakened, you've drawn essentially probably about four cards, or you've drawn two cards at least. Hey, you've yo, I should have read it more. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, read the deck, man, read the deck. You know, I'll awaken them. Uh... So you'll, I won't awaken yet. No. He or, untaps two energy. Like... Oh, yeah, so I'll do it on your turn, yeah. No, 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 don't do it on my turn. You do it on your turn. Here's what I'm saying. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll play some cards first. Yep, and then you uh, and awaken then, oh, untap two energy. I got it, I got it, I got it, yeah. I got to see your point there. Refocus, Cam. I got you. I got Re you. Refocus your cam. <laughs> oh, my camera? Oh, okay. My bad, my bad. You're good. There you go. I mean, right, you, right, have right, to, right. you have to swap between focus. I don't have to. My my camera auto-focuses everything. Yeah. You know what? For some reason, I think... I don't know. It, it does, but for some reason, this time, it's not... I don't know what's going on. It's all, good. it's all good. All right, so I will. Um, damn, this is, I will play an energy. Oh, there we go. Just changed my screen a little bit. Okay. Uh, damn it, that's a free one. I will. Uh, Put an energy down. Uh, it's a good thing you're not trying to play a second unison card. Yeah. Because I if mean, you, if you play a unison, your unison dies. One of them. Really? Oh. So, so if you if play, I, if you played him, yeah. Master Roshi, It'll, you lose Kaba. Oh. Or you lose, oh. Ro or you lose Roshi. You can choose which one he dies, but it's such a waste of energy. It's a waste. Yeah, it's yeah. a waste of. Uh... No matter what it is, it's a waste. Yeah. All right, so I will two or more. Uh, which one? Oh, what do you? Oh, you just have. Okay, I will. I guess I will. S I have so much energy open. This is I great. Have so much energy. Love being blue. Uh, 
I have four energy. Total six. I already have six energy. <laughs> A little bit of ramp. I'll do, I, might, I might do that next. All right. I will. Um, I can't even target your boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Shoot. I forgot. Start your main phase. I untap Majin Buu and I untap an energy. Sorry. So good, so good. Um, <laughs> no, I have five energy open. Yay. Yeah. I will enter my battle phase here. I will swing with uh, Andrew Infinite Energy 18 to your leader. Okay, then let's go for your leader. Oh. Da, da, da. No negates. Uh, no combos. I'm going to give him Sensu Bay and make him 20k for the turn. For the turn, twenty k. Um. Uh. Uh. Man, weaklings. <laughs> um. I mean, your cow is not. Yeah, I will uh swing with Kaba. Can I? <laughs> Oh wait, 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 never mind. Wait. You might I want, want to plus him first. What? You might want to plus him up one first. Just to make sure he's at yeah, seven. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Um I will use uh an extra card. Is that activate battle? Yeah. You have to wait or until you do, do battle it. phase. Yep. Wait uh, until you see, that's my one to ask. That's my one to ask. Yep. Okay, Whatever so you I will attack. swing. I will swing with uh Kaba to your leader. La Fuba. You're about to hate blue with a burning passion. I just made your Kaba nothing on the board. Ah. Uh, so what the so what Mafuba does? Counter uh oh no, I can't hear it's battle card attack. Never mind. I'm all weas question, sorry. Let me go ahead and explain uh the Fuba though, so that you know here in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and stun the gate that attack. I'm not letting you do that. So Mafuba, when I do play it against one of your battle cards, is okay. counter battle card attack. Negate the attack and place this card on the attacking card. At the end of the opponent's next turn, place this card and only this card in the drop area. As long as this card is attached on top of another card, that card is not treated as a battle card and its skills cannot be activated. Oh. So, say I put this on top of Vegeta Saiyan Youth. Or on top of Saiyan, uh, Goku Saiyan Youth. Yeah. So you attack with it. It sits on top of the card and Mufu is now on the board. Not your saying youth. Your saying youth essentially doesn't exist at all until the yeah. end of your next turn. So mm. it stays there for your turn, my turn, and the entirety of your next turn. And then the end of your turn, Mafuba then goes into my draw. Two turns, technically. Uh huh. Yeah. But that's a so battle card. Only for a battle card, right? Yeah. That's why I said, oh, well, sorry, never mind. So I went ahead and you lease this coercion for your uh, units. I was like, Oh, I was like, damn, that thing's true. Blocked the unison. I was like, oh my god. If that didn't say counter battle card attack, yeah, then yes. But in set two, this was worried about doing it to leader cards. Oh, uh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was like, uh, okay, that'd be kind of cheap. But yeah, if it just said counter attack, yeah, I could use this on your unison and basically go, your unison don't exist. Damn. <laughs> god, my <Mafuba. laughs> Like I said, you will eventually hate blue. <laughs> even yeah. even blue players are like I hate you so much right now. <laughs> I mean, I I end my I end my turn. Yeah, got nothing else, bro. <laughs> Thing else up my sleeve. All right, I'll draw. Do I really want to charge anything? Not really. No, I don't even need to really charge. Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to charge Rogue Prospect. Uh, four. No, you can attack that. Five. Beerus, Universe 7, Divine Vanquisher. Again, you're about to hate me. <laughs> uh, uh. So, this is a 25k double strike. When this card attacks, a reader card, your opponent chooses any number of cards in their ha from their hand, battle area, or energy area, for which the total cost adds up to six. Or more and place it in the drop area. What? So I play him. I'm now going to swing 25k double strike at your leader. 
Now you have to get cards to add six or more energy and put them in your drop area from either your battle area, your energy area, hand, or a combination of the three. <laughs> so essentially, oh. I can either board wipe you right now. You'd have no battle area if you took all three of those away. Yeah. I could take some of your energy away, or I could take some of your hand away with one card. Or I could take a combination of the three away. Damn it. And I'm still swinging your leader for 25k and double strike. Oh my god. Ah, uh, shit. But first, ah, you shit. negate. Before you do anything, you negate. His auto still going to oh. go off. Oh, yeah. But let's deal with his battle first. Do you yeah. negate his yeah, battle? Yeah, yeah. I will top one. I was going to say, I probably would. Uh, I would negate. Uh, counter attack. Negate the attack. Then <coughs> choose up to one of your red. Saying leader cards again uh, gains plus five thousand. So, all right. So Vegeta's uh, at fifteen k. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So any awakening goes into the drop. Now for his auto to resolve, start pitching uh, cards. <laughs> so you had six or more energy. Wait, what? What is that? So your total cost of the cards you throw into the drop area have to be six uh, or more. Six or more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Uh, I could choose a, a tap energy. Yep, you can choose any energy, any of your battle right. cards in the battle area, or your hand. Okay, one, two, God! Uh, don't choose the X, the X is zero. What? X is zero. Oh, energy, I thought you had like six cards. Nope, specify cost of energy. Oh! So your okay. master, master Roshi goes back into your energy tab. Okay, my bad. And I puts, thought it was six cards. Nope, okay. six energy. Energy. Tap Roshi. Can you tap specified him? cost? Yeah. Uh, not specified. Cost? Not specified cost. Just cost. Just. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So oh X, my god. X is zero. Yeah, you got it. That would have been <laughs> kind of crazy. I thought it was like six cards. I'm like, oh shit. That's no. Kinda... No, it's total energy of six or more. Got it. Um. So. That's two. Uh. Well, my hand is four. It's at 15 because of the effect yep. of the thing. Uh, how much is Boo right now? 20... 20k. Uh, uh, you know what? I feel like you're going to combo anyway. Um, I only have three cards in hand. Uh, all right, I will, I will, I will block. All right. So that guy dies. Yeah. All right. Here's the fun one. Here's swing to your leader. Okay. He's at 15, right? Uh, no, yes. no negate. Don't even worry about taking a life. You don't even have to combo because his auto is going to trigger. I put a card from top of, or from my drop area into my. Energy and rest mode. You don't take a life. Um. Yeah, you're no longer taking lives with Beerus. Mm. 
And then, uh, pass the turn. Majin Buu's ability triggers. Untap him and untap a blue energy. Got it. All Your right. Turn. Yikes, Kamal. Need a miracle. What's a. What's the beer is, uh... 25k. Oh, my God. 25. And he will get minus 10. Okay. Draw a card. Uh... Don't forget, you can always awaken on this turn. <laughs> you could have awakened last turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will have to, uh... I'll tap one. I'll play, uh, Sun Goku. Right, Red Unison card, draw one card. Okay. One card for anybody. Hmm. Uh. Damn, that might have been the wrong move. <laughs> Don't forget, you can untap. Friend, you didn't charge. What was that? You didn't charge an energy. Oh, shit. Nah. I don't wanna... I don't wanna put another energy. I probably would cha charge that same Kaba. Huh? I probably would charge that same Kaba. You mean, like, play it? No, charge... I would've charged it. You would've? You would've? Yeah. Too late now. I made a mistake, bro. <laughs> well, okay, I'll just, I'll just play the boy. I'll play the boy. There's a reason I say charge it instead of playing it, because he's going to be taking your life and giving him double strike and plus 5k. Mm -hmm. So he's only going to be a 10k double striker hitting a 15k, and you're taking a life. Mm -hmm. Kind of useless right now, huh? Yeah. Um, so that's like an early game kind of shit. That, yeah, yeah, that's that's one of your self awakeners. It's like intensifying power trunks. Uh, uh, fuck it. I will awaken my boy. It's there time. Uh, what is this? Give your Kaba a uh, counter and untap two energy. He gets one counter. Yeah, so he's at seven. So I'm gonna need another one. And then you're going to untap uh, two of your energy. Yeah. Yep. And then awaken them. There you go. Alright, let's see what the hell is this skill here. Uh, We're going when to this card him. attack, draw one card. Then choose up to one of your red unison cards with a specified cost of two, which is Kaba. And no keyword skills. What is that? Keyword skills. The red words. Double strike, crit, walker, things like that. What about limit one? No. Okay. All right. And against double strike. <laughs> okay. And once per turn, spirit boost one, you must remove a marker. When your opponent attacks, your red. Okay, that's I guess when you attack. You need to fire risk. You get that attack, okay. And he'll get 6,000 power, so he'll be at 21,000 power. Damn, so it's a lot of math involved here. All right. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm literally reading your leader card. Yeah. <laughs> like my own version of it, see? <laughs> I have that deck literally sitting on my other table. Uh, activate battle if you have to. Just one of battle card. Or the turn. All right, F it. You're going YOLO here. Okay. Uh, I might as well act do the. I'll activate the uh, unison here. Plus one marker. Choose one of your uh, opponent's battle cards or unison cards. Oh yeah, me. you can minus unit Majin Buu. And it gets Majin Buu. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, nah, I'll go for the your beer. So you said what, fifteen? Uh, is it minus ten k or minus fifteen? What's it being minus? 
Why? He's going to be a 15, right? You minus him 15k or 10k? Uh, it says 10k. Okay, then yeah, he's 15k. Okay, so he's a 15. I did that. Uh. I will, uh, I will attack <coughs> your leader. I'll attack your leader with my Vegeta leader. When this card attacks, draw one. Oh, wait, I have to, uh, do I have to wait for you to negate first? Uh, it'll still trigger, right? Yeah, it'll still trigger. I have no negate, so. Okay, so draw one card. Yep. Then choose up to one of the same card. And he gets double strike for the turn. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, do you combo? No, I'm gonna take it. You take it. Okay. Uh, so it's one of them. Um. Beer so about fifteen still. Yes. Yeah. I will swing with eighteen. Um... To your leader. Mafuba. Okay, so you're gonna he's mo he's nothing now. Yep. She's just sitting there, looking pretty. Yeah. Um fifteen. So he's gonna get um Okay, I will um I will swing with a uh, Kaba to your leader. You got double strike. Tap Majin. Play Dimension Magic to get the attack on tap two energy. That negates the attack, right? Yep. Got it. Uh I guess uh, I think that that'll end my turn. That'll end my turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Charge you because I do not need you right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tapping six to play SS4 Vegeta. Rise oh of the boy. Super Warrior. I look at the top oh four. Oh boy. Add any number of mono blue to my hand. Put a mono blue to my energy. And the rest go to the bottom of my deck. What's his power? 30k. 30k? He's a 30k blocker. Holy fuck. Tap 2. Play another Supreme Kai West. Mm -hmm. Plus 0. Majin Buu. Swing lead the lead. What was that? Swing my leader, leader to your leader. 15k to 15k. Uh... Uh, no, no combo. Can I can I activate this thing if I damage? Uh oh wait, never mind. I said three or more. How much life do you have? Three. Okay. You can activate it if you want. I have three. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, I'll activate that one. So take away your six. Yeah. Which doesn't really help you because guess what? I'm just taking the energy. Because I don't do damage to you. But I'll take that life happily. Got it. Because that gives me more stuff in my hand. <laughs> ah. uh, let's swing Margin Boom 20k double strike to your leader. Uh, I will... Uh, uh, I will tap one. I want to play this card. 
after image technique. Alright, that makes your guy very freaking big, but that doesn't negate the attack, but that's fine, because I'm not counting it. <laughs> so, he gets 40,000. I just want to see what this card is. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets 10,000. So, I'll do the Vegeta one. Minus 10 on oh, him. okay. That's fine. He's a blocker. And he wasn't swing. Uh, also, blockers can attack? Blockers can. Oh, okay. okay. But he's a massive blocker, so why would I attack with him? Oh, wait, no. True. I think, wait, he has an auto. Uh, the end of turn is versus card active mode. Never mind, yeah, he's an attacking blocker. <laughs> so he's 20k right now. Um, what's sparking 5? If you have five cards in your drop area, you can take a life and activate its ability. Activate a counterattack without paying its cost. Let's go from your hand, buddy. Oh, nah. So instead of me tapping, I could have taken a life. Correct. Oh, uh, okay. Man. Sometimes that's needed though when you have when you're tapped out. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's dealt with. Awesome. After image does for the turn, right? It gives your guy plus stupid amount for yep. the turn. Oh no! For the battle, that's ass. All right. Well, for that means battles. I can do this. Twenty-five k double strike at your leader. Oh. Wait, are you sure? Yeah, I just read it. It's kind of booty. I thought it was the turn too. Oh, yeah, my, my guy gets minus 10k for the turn. Oh, I was reading it from the deck. Oh, I remember my, my, my beef, my beefy. Yeah, yeah, your beef is, too. But I was re I was double-checking it, because, remember, I have the deck sitting right here. No, my, my 40,000 is only up to the duration of the battle, though. Yeah, that that's what I was just reading. See? Uh, yeah, I got, I got the same deck literally in my hand. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. See? <laughs> Gotcha. So I can look at whatever card I need to. Um, so yeah, 25k, double strike at your leader. Is anything up in here? Uh, I guess I got, I got... Oh, wait. Wait. I will tap one. I'm not taking that. I will, will play negate the attack. Choose up to one of your red leader cards against 5,000. So it's at 20 right now. Nice, nice. All right, twenty k at your leader. I will take it. Okay. No, uh, I'm yeah, not no negates. Yeah, I'm not okay. Comboing. Yeah, you're fine. All right. All right. End of turn. I'll untap the Jita, untap Boo, and untap an energy. Okay. So I'll much energy. energy. <laughs> <laughs> you end your turn, John. Oh yeah, I'm done. All right. That will. By the way, I'm at 12 energy. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, God. I gotta somehow end it somehow. All yeah, right. because if not, I'm about to take back-to-back -back turns. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what we can do. Uh... Okay, I might have to... Uh... I will place an energy. I wouldn't place that as energy. Really? It's blue energy. What's blue gonna do? Oh. Yeah, the color identity of the card is what energy color gives you. No, but like I could still use it if there's like a specified cost of one. Like let's say there's a two cost and so can, only one. Yeah, then you can use it like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I, I think that's the that's the go-to move right here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't, for you, I will tap. Don't forget your infinite energy. Android eighteen is still my food. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Oops, she doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah, that's yeah. the best way to just leave a tap. Yeah. She'll I be good at the tap. end of the turn. Good <laughs> God. Uh, I have no choice. We will go for it. I'm, I'm tapping four. Okay. To play surprise attack. Uh, dang it! I just wanna ace out anyway. Uh, 
Surprise attack, Son Gohan. Uh... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I could have played them from battle. Alright. Yeah, damn it. What is its ability? Activate battle. Fuck. If you have two or more mono reds <laughs> in your combo. Oh, in your combo area. What does that mean? So when you swing with, say, your uh, leader card, you combo with two mono red cards. Tap one red, oh. you can play him. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this card from your hand and then choose up to one of them. Damn, that's like a super. It's good. Is it? Dang. For your deck? Yes. If you have two or more mono in your combo area, play this card. So, like, if you comboed Goku and Kaba from your battle area, you could have played him for one instead of four. Oh, so if I, so if I comboed. This. Yeah, and and Kaba, yep. You would have two mono reds in your combo area. It's like you swung with Vegeta, combo with those two guys who are pretty much useless. Uh, don't even roll oh, the block is good. That's that's what I I kind of wanted to think too. Yeah, that's what your deck um, is made to do. I didn't know that I could combo with yep. battle cards. Yeah, on so the, you think I thought they needed would... to be. I thought okay. they needed to be in hand for you to combo. No, combo can be oh. any battle card that's in active mode as well. Oh, but let's say it's in rest mode, I can't combo with it. Correct. It's been used, yeah. Ah, okay, see? There you go, little little things. I'm... Yeah, like I said, this and game has thing. little things that'll just kind of like add up and it'll... That's why I like playing games, because you playing yeah. games gets to where you can learn and no, exactly. as you see this is a nice slow deck yeah this deck lets you get through your entirety of your deck and learn it yeah so yeah. that's why once we once you build a full deck on your own this yeah. is what's used to test your deck this is the first yeah. deck i use to test your deck it's slow it's paced it doesn't do a lot of stupid against your deck because it kind of just yeah. does its thing there's a few little yeah. things like mafuba beerus you know stuff that makes you work for it well, for the most part, this deck pretty much plays itself. It doesn't care what you're doing, right? Mm. Pretty much what I'm yeah. doing. And that's why I like this deck to start people playing. Because this deck mm. is a stupid slow deck. Gotcha. I mean, come on. I need 12 energy just to activate the lease in my hand. I need 16 energy for beers to work. Yeah. All right. Uh... Ooh, that's cool. I will... I will play this. Is that an activate battle? Uh, main. Oh, there you go. Alright. Choose all red Saiyan cards, which they're all Saiyan, um, in your battle area. So these guys. Yep. So and the, the, gain, uh, the gain barrier until the end of your opponent's next turn. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's nice. Can't tell um, you. And then I will uh Remember that's an activate battle. Yeah. I will swing with uh Vegeta on your leader. Any No negates or blockers. Okay, so I draw a card. Then she's up to one. And he gets double strike now. Mm-hmm. Um uh You gonna combo anything? No combo. I'm gonna combo discipline warrior. Put one at the bottom of my deck to draw two. Twenty five K. So Beerus at twenty five K? Yeah, Beerus was at twenty five K, so I beat out yours. Okay, so he has double strike. Um, okay, I will s double. Don't forget, you still have one marker. You have still one marker on him. Oh, yeah. Because if you had zero markers, he'd be dead. 
Oh, oh wait, no, you have two. Okay, yeah, I just yeah. saw that blue die. Sorry, that was like yep. camouflage for a minute. So good. Yep. Um. You know what? I will uh, double swing on your leader, and, and then, I could activate this, right? I could activate this. Uh, I'm negating the attack. Oh no! Dimension magic. No, my opportunity. And I have to have uh, an extra energy. Oh, okay, so let me get it at that. Double A batteries in here somewhere. He said what? 25, you said? Uh, who? Yours? No, he's back uh, to yeah. 15. Uh, no, it's just during the battle. Okay. Uh, no, I, I, will, I will swing with uh, Gohan. Your leader? Uh, no negates. I will activate blocker. Got it. You combo? Uh, what's his, uh... 30. So he's at 30 now? Yeah, uh, well, my blocker's 30, yeah. That's who you're hitting right now, it's the 30k blocker. Potato. Uh, shh. No, 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 no. That's I'm gonna combo, and make him 40, put a card at the bottom of my deck, draw two. Got it. Okay. Yeah, shit. I think I'm, that's it. All right, my I'm, turn. I'm, 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 Untap everything. All the energy. Draw. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna be better by that right now. That's evil. That's just evil. What do you got? Sixteen. I got baby hatchback in my hand. Oh my god. But no, I have twelve. Oh, my flip is gone. Okay, so let's tap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, to play Whis, Judge of the Gods. I'm going to take an extra turn after this one. Uh, and he has Quad Strike. Stop it! Quad Strike. Oh, and the card's attack and skill cannot be negated. So you can't even negate his attack. Oh shit. 40k quad strike. At your leader. Uh, 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 what, you're doing it now? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I think I can't even stop it. I mean... <laughs> the razor, hold up. Hold up. You yeah, can get I mean, up to 30. Quad, quad strike. Yeah. You can get up to 30,000, you can't even match him. I think that's dubs, because... That's four life. Yeah, only three life. Yeah, three that just took like four life away from you. Even if I stop the first one. No! Yeah, then I get another turn after this, too, so I'll, like, say I plus him, swing with him, take another card, put in my energy, swing with Beerus, make you lose more cards, which I keep forgetting to do that, because it's when he attacks, you pitch cards. So every time I've attacked with him, you should have been pitching cards. Damn. Then I untap everything, because oh. I go again. Alright. Alright. Uh, then I would charge that and then play Baby Hatchyak. What does Baby Hatchy do? So, Baby Hatchyak isn't really that big of a deal until it's a counterattack. So he's a counterattack. If you have three or more energy, negate the attack, play this card, your opponent can't attack for the turn. Uh, this card will be moved from battle area and removed from the game instead. If your leader card is mono blue, you can choose one other card in your hand, discard it, instead of paying this card's energy cost when activated its counter. So instead of paying eight to counter the attack and make it so you can't, I could have just pitched Weiss's Coercion and then counter your attack. And that's if you want to survive a second shot from Weiss's, Weiss Judge of the Gods, or Beerus, or Vegeta, or Boo. And this beer switch is gaining more energy. Shit. That's beer. That's beer. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that late, that late game. That late game. Yeah, that's all this deck is made for. It's made for the late game. Jeez. And here's the best part. That's how much deck I have left. That's it. What was that? Damn. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I only have 12 cards left in deck. 
Oh! One of those being General Demolition. That would have been fun to play. And Food Shroud and Mystery. That card would have said no to all your skills. Which one? Let me see. Food. That food. Um, Tells you no to every oh, skill. Oh, Okay. Food says no to every skill. It negates all your what? skills. It negates all your skills. For, for how long? Until the start of my next turn. And I warp him in. What the fudge? Yeah, he's over well. Now you see the why I play this guy. Nice and slow, let's get through the deck. I mean, at least I kind of, I mean, kind of, you know, I'm getting the gist of how to play. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad, huh? I mean, it's not too Do you want to see what a real deck does? All right, let's just... You want to see a real deck? Let me see the, let me see the top notch before I, right, before right. I go, go. Yeah, let me put let's these go. guys. Let me put these guys away. Beerus doesn't need to see the light of day very often. <laughs> of course, that's what I say about my drone age, too, is they don't need to see the light of day. Damn. And yes, I had a custom Dren leader made for it. The is this a typo? The Great Simon, or this this how it is? What do you mean? Uh, cause it's like that's like a zero. Yeah, that's that's super combos. That's a normal super combo. Made of screen's ability. Yeah, I get plus 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're at four of us life. Gotcha. Alright. Let me make sure this is actually somewhat shuffled. Okay, it is. Alright, time to see the uh, competitive level. <laughs> Alright, do you want to see the deck or do you want to play against it? We're just going to play against it. All we're right. just going to play against it. We're going to be surprised. Is this the one turn? Is this the one turn deck? Uh, no, I don't have any turn one TKOs anymore. <laughs> They're banned. Damn. A lot of the stuff that can make a turn one TKO has been banned. Gotcha. So I technically don't have them anymore. All right, all right. And then uh, since you lost, I'll let you choose. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first, just to... Just to see Get the full the, effect of this trend. The, yeah. <laughs> I will go first. Okay. Alright, so. I will. I'll mulligan one. Alright, mulligan three. <laughs> This is going to go kind of funny, I think. This is your end deck? Yeah, this is my Dren Apes. Okay. Probably one of my fastest builds I have. Okay, alright, alright. Uh, uh, okay, that's fine. And then don't forget your life. One energy. Mm -hmm. One energy. Uh, and uh, I, I guess that's it. I can't do anything. That's it. And my friend. Draw, charge grade eight, tap, play planet Vegeta, auto, search for an eight. Raiders War Cry. Alright, that 
goes to hand. Swain, leader of the leader. Uh, no, no negate. Auto, draw, plus 5k. Um, so 15k trigger. Uh, no combo. Alright. Go ahead and take your life. <laughs> take my life, alright. And then pass the okay. turn. Alright. Yep, so active. Alright, I'll draw my card. Uh, place an energy. I will um, I will tap I will tap two okay. and play Haba. Okay. Uh, gets two markers. Uh, so I will activate I'll Add the marker minus ten thousand to planet Vegeta. That's a field Wait, card. Up. That's a field card. It's not a battle card. Oh, what? A, yeah, this is a field card. Oh, that's a field card. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa! It's the first time I've seen that one. Yeah, that's not a battle card. That's a field. It just oh, sits sh- there, does an effect. Oh. It makes it so I can untap have... all my apes. So at the end of the turn, mm-hmm. he'll untap all the apes for the turn. Oh. Wow. And then he lets me, when I play it, I can search for a four or less Saiyan, Saiyan and Raider's War Cry is a Saiyan. So how do you take out a field card? There's a green Vegeta card that exists that destroys field cards. That's the only way you could... That, that's it. That is the only way to get rid of a field card. Hey, in the, yo! In the entire game. Yo, alright. Uh... So I tap to yep. So so do I just doesn't even pertain, right? You still still plus him. Still plus him. I can still plus him. Yeah. Okay. Just because his effect doesn't go off doesn't mean anything. You still need to plus him. Okay, I can still plus him. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I will uh swing. Wait, how much power is uh your leader? Uh, 10k. He gets 10K, 50, okay. He gets a plus 5k when he attacks. Who does? Dren. When I attack? No, or... when I attack. When I attack. Oh, when my Duran okay. attacks, yeah. Okay, so almost the same as... Okay, yeah. so I will swing with to your leader. Uh, no negates. Okay, uh, no combos. Uh, uh, same, I'll take it. Okay. Um, and I will swing with Kaba. Uh, no negates. Uh, no, uh, no combos. I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> and I will end my turn. Alright. Untap. Draw. Uh, draw. Plus 5k. Uh, and then I'll Tap two. Play Gogeta. So he has a permanent. If all my mono yellow energy is tapped, my leader gets plus 5k uh, on my opponent's turn. On, then, on my turn? Yeah, so during your turn, he's plus 5k. So he's 15. Okay. Yep. Uh, when your opponent activates an extra card, add a marker to this card. That's a once per turn. Plus one, I could choose two yellow cards in my hand, discard them. If I do, draw two cards. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Plus three him. I'm going to pitch Great Ape Son Goku and that to draw two. Swain lead to lead. Uh, no negates. Auto, take a life. Uh, do I want to draw? No, I'm going to play Kunchi for free. So, 10k at your leader. Uh, wait, the the first one's done, right? The leader, leader? Yeah. Okay, let me take the card. 
And then you're gonna attack with. Oh, no, that's all it was, was he was swinging at you, is all. Oh, okay. Did you take that yeah. life? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Um. Uh... We'll go ahead and awaken. Untap. Draw. What was the criteria for your awaken? Four less life. You have four already? Yeah. Good name. Okay. He's a self awakener. He awakens himself. Got it. Uh. Think. Let's go ahead and swing fifteen cage leader. I will. Uh. No. No negates. No combo. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. And then I'll pass the turn. All right. And say so my turn. Oh wait. Let me uh switch these. Active. You notice also the pace is kind of changing a little bit with this deck. Yeah. <laughs> I will place an energy down. Uh. I will play. I will tap one. Oh, tap two, actually, my bad. Tap two. Uh, play him. Uh, leader card is red. Guys, I can choose one of your red instant cards and add a marker. So it's at four. Four. Okay. And um, I will activate. I'll add another marker. Uh, so he's a five. It's minus ten. So I guess the is that it? The one that she has barrier. Ah! He gives all universal eleven to her less barrier. That's his ability. He gives all universal eleven to her less barrier. Two or less. Yes. Barrier. Mother. <laughs> Um, what's his power? Five thousand. Five, five. All right. Uh, and I will, uh, I will, uh, he's at 15, right, G yeah. uh, Jiren? Yeah, okay, he's awakened. I will, I will swing your leader to lead their... Time magic, negate it. Negate it, okay. Do your auto, though. Right, so, yep. Draw one, um... I will also I'll swing with a uh, Kaba here. So remember now, Gogeta's ability is activated, so Jiren's at twenty thousand. Oh whoa 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 wait what happened? What happened? So I tapped out my energy. My energy is now oh, all tapped out. Oh, got it. Because my energy taps, Gogeta's ability triggers. Oh. Which makes it where he gets another plus five k for during your turn. Uh. Uh. Shit. Shit. Seeds. All right. I'll. I won't attack. I will end my <laughs> turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Oh, thank you. Tap two, I'm gonna play Hero Combination Zoray. He is basically an indestructible blocker. As long as there's another universal weapon in play, he cannot be destroyed by an attack for one time a turn. Or with just one attack. Uh huh? You can attack him again, oh. but he has barrier too. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So 
if I attack, he can't be attacked, right? He's From a blocker. Me. He's a blocker. Okay. Got so it. say you attack my leader with a fifty. Let's go stupid, ridiculous. Fifty thousand quad strike, right? It's going to kill me. Yeah. I activate this blocker. He don't die. Mhm. Mm but then if you attack him again, then he'll die. Got it. Got it. All right. I'm on a plus Gogeta. Pitch two, draw two. That works. That works. That's very good. Very, very good. Let's swain lead to lead. Uh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I will, uh. No negate, no negate. Auto draw plus 5k, he's at 20,000. Got it, I'll take it. Don't want to awaken? Uh, can I awaken? You can still awaken. Now? You can still awaken and take it and untap your two energy if you wanted. Mm, got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll awaken, boy. Can okay. do, if I awaken him, do I? He stays tapped. He's good. still tapped. Still tapped. Okay. Yeah, and then untap your two energy yeah. and add a yeah. marker to Kaba. Yep. So is it six? Let's swing 15k at your leader. Uh, who's swinging? Gogeta. Gogeta. Uh, uh, well, uh, no negate. Uh, no combo. Uh, can I can I combo? Yep. I will tap one. Uh, combo. Uh, Support trunks. Okay. Uh, so it's at 20. Uh, at the end of the battle, in which you combo this card from your hand during your opponent's turn, uh, and then it goes to rest mode. All right, on the battle area. Yep. yep. All right. And uh, I can pass turn now. And then, okay. And it also has the second auto. When you play this card, uh, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 5,000 for the duration. Oh, yeah. God damn, man. <laughs> this is All probably right. my ultimate defense. Okay. And, you Duran also has, yep, and Duran also has an activate battle that's pretty mean. Oh, His activate oh. battle is as long as I have a universal legend on play, I could take life, I take no more battle damage for the turn. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Hey, yo, all right. I'm uh. Okay, I will uh, draw a card. And I will. Oh yeah. I will play. I will uh. Put an energy. Could I attack the one in the middle of the battle? Can she? Yeah. No, because he's an active mode. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Um, let me see. <laughs> All right, I will um, Okay, I'm kind of getting that one ready. Okay, I will um I will swing your leader with uh, Vegeta, my leader. Leave it to leader. You gate. I'm on a pitch yellow card. You can only attack one more time with battle cards. Okay. This is still, still my auto still goes right. Yep. And Draw one card. Down. Yep. And he still gets double strike, right? Yep. Are 
you all tapped out of yep, yeah. Which means he's oh. twenty thousand now. Um, and by all means, activate extra cards so I can make that guy with more markers. <laughs> <laughs> I will, uh... Hmm. I will, uh... Wing with... With, a uh, Kaba. And the gates, no. I'm gonna activate blocker though. Okay. What is what's the block? What's his uh He's five thousand, but he's gonna stay there because he can't die one. He can't one die, time. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. Um so that negates it technically. Pretty much, yeah. Uh he's at twenty. Yeah, he's at twenty now. Is it okay? He's and at I can't kill tap now. And I can't kill the the tap card, right? You can attack it, yeah. But that doesn't can mean I can't. Die? He can now, but I mean, I can always make him bigger. I can still combo for defense. Or negate the attack. I'm going to get rid of that boy. Oh, you think so? I will. I, I have to try. I will. I'm telling you right now, he's about to be stupid big. I will attack with Vegeta. I will attack him. Okay, I don't have a negate. What's that? I don't have a negate at the moment. I'll make him bigger though. Like really uh, big. Uh, uh, it's. I will uh combo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 15! And another. I'm about to give him another one. 20, huh? Alright, let's, let's see. Do I right, want to wa wanna waste all that, though, to make him 25? Mm, not really. Let's not waste it. Let's go ahead and let him die. Alright, alright. I'll get another one here in a minute. No. Because you have no more attacks now. You can't attack with Trunks because yeah, I fly I Nimbus attack. to you. You what? I fly Nimbus to you. Fly Nimbus, if I pitch a yellow card, you can only attack one time with battle cards. You just attacked it one time with a battle card to hit my guy. Oh. So now Trunks can't swing. Your units is race one and your leader's race one. How long does that last, the Nimbus thing? Just this turn. Hold it. Oh, no, just, just the turn. Okay. I have to use fly Nimbus every time on a counter attack. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Pass my turn. Alright, on top. Draw. George Kunchi. Alright, oh, fun times, fun times. Let's plus Gogeta. Pitch two, draw two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's give Gogeta another marker. We're going to swing lead to lead. Uh, no neg. Uh, you know what? Are you sure you want to negate and give my Gogeta another pl plus marker? <laughs> uh, when does he get a marker again? What's the condition? When you uh, activate an extra card. An extra card. Okay. Yep. Uh, I will do it. I will do it. Okay. Alright, negate the attack. He gets at 20 now. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Is the auto still triggers? I'll draw a card. What's that? Is the auto still triggers? I'll draw a card. Okay. Uh, let's swing Gogeta. 15k for leader. Uh, so it's at 20 right now. Uh, no, no negate. Tap four. Combo him up to thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Thirty-five. Um. 
kind of see what to uh, <laughs> to do here. I'll tap one again. Okay. And I'll counter again. Yeah, you, counter you, again. You're past the counter phase. You're in oh, combo. yeah? We're in combo. Oh, we're in combo. Shit. <laughs> uh, no. No, no, that's it. No I, combo, I mean, so you're going to take that? Cool. Yeah. Rams, Warcry, both are going to play. I draw two. Oh, God. Uh, their ability also triggers. You can switch your trunks to rest mode and the Geo to rest mode, and they both will stay in rest mode on your next turn. These two? Yep. Yo. How much life are you at? What's that? How much life are you at? Four. Swing 20k double strike. Oh my god. And they're active? Yes. Alright, I, I, I could counter, right? I counter yep, you should counter. Yeah. Okay. So he's he's at 25 now. Okay. Okay. Swing 20k double strike. 20k double strike. Uh, no negates. I'll activate full moon for free. Give him plus 10k to make him 30k. Uh, so he's at 25. Can I use these to block? No, they're tapped down. Oh, only if they're active. Fuck. Yeah. to do it I'll I'll just no I won't no no I'm not comboing alright take two life oh my god I'll end turn uh, play the Vegeta triggers both of my warriors work where I restand oh my god can you attack again no it's your turn no? it's end of turn okay. play the Vegeta restands oh, okay. and end of turn the reason for that is if I play something like this this guy's a blocker. Uh, okay. And he has critical. So I could play him, evolve him onto here, and then he would attack with crit, and then he'd restand, and then he's a blocker. That's another question. <laughs> What's that, like, evolve stuff? I had a question with, like, evolve. So EX evolve, uh, it depends on which evolve. So EX evolve usually means, like, you pay its mana cost, whatever it is, energy cost, so like two, one, blue, whatever. And then you just play it on top of whatever card. Union Patara usually requires two cards from like the hand, unless it's specified somewhere else. Like there's other Union Pataras that will do it from the energy and use the two cards specified from energy, and then you can play that card for free. So it just varies. It's, it'll specify what it does. Gotcha. This one, what um, this is doing is when I combo with it, I can evolve it on top of a Bardock, and these guys are Bardocks. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. I will. Uh... And then they're still rested, right? Yep, they'll stay rested for this turn. Okay. I will draw my card. Oh, mm. my God. Uh... Might as well put another marker. There you go. The hell? So, uh, I'll put an energy uh, down. Uh, 
How much is the the apes? They're twenty k's. Twenty k's. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Mm. Uh, I will. Uh, and it's hard. I don't know how to go about it. <laughs> so he said thirty. I will swing leader to leader. So twenty, games. right? Yeah, he's at twenty right now. Uh, yeah, I will swing. No negates. Uh, mm, I, I will, uh, 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 uh. What does this other one do? When your opponent attacks your red. Oh, uh, when you only when you attack that one. Yeah, and I'll attack you in unison. I will, uh. Combo. I will combo w with a 10. Okay. Is that it? Uh, yeah. I want to activate his battle, take a life. I'm not going to take any more combat damage this turn. I want to super combo twice, make both of your uh, red guys negative 10Ks. These two? Nope, your two uh, battle cards. Oh, Unless, these two. Yep, I'm so okay. They're, okay they're... I'm what? <laughs> oh my god. And I take no more combat damage this turn. Oh my god. Then I uh, end my tourney. Oh my god. What the fuck? Untap, <laughs> draw. Yo. <sighs> All right, let's plus him up to eight or nine. Pitch two, draw two. Oh, that's cute. I didn't even charge. That's kind of fun. Let's go ahead and tap two. Play scrambling assault song go ten. Swing lead to lead. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tap one. Okay. I'm gonna die soon, so I'm gonna do after image. Uh, okay. your leader corner. So I could beef him up to forty. Yep, for the turn. Yep, or for the battle. Yep. Oh my god! Then choose duration of the turn. Uh, your Gogeta, I'll have minus 10. That's a unison, not a battle card. Oh, shit. Uh, one of the apes. I don't know which one. They're the same, right? Yeah, that's the same. Let's just do the far right. Yeah, the far right. Yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, my god. That works out. So let's swing 10k double stack. Damn. Uh... Uh, 10k double strike, holy shit. They're both double strikes? Yes, the Raiders were prior double strikes. Oh my lord. How, mu how many? 15k? He's 10 right now. He's 10. No negates? No negates. Combo to 20, activate battle to make him 30. And nothing to negative 10. So 30,000 double strike. I will, uh... Uh, I I will uh play comp. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it to twenty thousand. All right, cool. Thirty. <laughs> and then I will uh forfeit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering I still have these in my hand. Oh my god! Time magic will negate and tap down one of your battle cards. The Jesus final flash will uh. It gives my leader plus 15k, and then I choose one of your battle cards, ignoring barrier, and negate its skills for the turn. 
And then this guy, I can evolve him, give him unique, blocker, critical, after I combo with him. And he's a one drop, 10k. One drop, oh my god. Yo, that's just some and advanced stuff. That guy will search for the top three. I can grab hero combinations already. Oh, not that Those guy again. go back to the bottom. He plays. There's my defense. And I can activate this by just taking a life if I wanted to, or I just take a life for battle. That goes into hand. Another hero combination is alright. I don't take any more combat damage. Next turn, play. Now I have two indestructible blockers. And then I can swim with him, look at top three again, get prideful transformation, put the rest at the bottom. Now I have a counterplay. Can I see the... You said there's like a blocker that's just mainly a blocker and not attacker. That guy right there. Zark. Can I see it? Can I see that? Yeah, hero combination mm -hmm. Zorre. So he has blocker, and then a permanent is if there's another universal weapon in play, he can't be killed one time per block. Wow. So That's even if he has, even if he has a power of five thousand, he can't attack. He can attack if he wanted to, but like uh, any any blocker can attack unless they specify they okay. cannot attack. Every blocker okay. can attack. Okay. These guys just don't because they are defense line. Yeah, yeah. And but you don't the, want it rested. You don't want it rested because it's gonna get attacked, right? Exactly. Remember when it uh, blocked, you're gonna kill the other one. Yeah. Because okay. even though he has there, he could still be targeted for attacks. Got it. So these are used usually if I don't have counters or I don't, or if I'm down to save one life. If I'm down to one life, then I can't use his activate battle to no longer take life. Or if I want to say save Gogeta. But because of how big he is and because of how your deck plays, he naturally gets big enough. I can ult him. And you can only untap two energy. Mm. I can even ult him again and still have enough that he's still alive. Got and then it. when I'm tapped out, he gets him, he briefs him up. The other guy I use for unison is King Vegeta. Which is, if I ult him, a neg 4, I can play two different named 8s. So I'll play Raiders War Cry, and on those get played from deck, by the way. So I'll play like Raiders War Cry, and Bard off Will of Iron. Which both have Double Strike, and then Will of Iron has Blocker. When Planet Vegeta out, they both restand. Jeez, my god. So I can attack him, restand him, and now he's a Blocker. That's 20,000. Jeez. And then what I'll do is I'll evolve right there. Then I'll have a unique critical. Jeez. Blocker. <laughs> God. I couldn't do anything. That's a competitive level back. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. And last, do I even have an SCR? I don't think I have an SCR in this deck. Yeah, I don't even have an SCR in this deck. That's how I don't have enough room to really play everything I want. Yeah. But, I mean, you see how smooth it runs. Yeah. And then, I'm trying to... this is sideboard, which is yeah. some Topo Righteous Aids, so red negates, another my resistance, red yellow, because I'll do what I can do is I'll run through it as a red yellow deck. And ultimately what it does is it increases the number of negates I have. So if I run it red-yellow, I'll run more negates. And then I'll run a rival. So I'll rival beers no holds barred. That's if I run it red-yellow. But yeah, that's the stack. <laughs> Perfect. So that's what you'll eventually get to. Is stuff like that. Uh, and that was what, turn four? Yeah, that was like... Yeah, that was like turn four. Turn four, that was starting to do some damage. Yeah. I can tell you right now, if I tap out and don't play conservatively like I just did, I can yeah. probably get you down to one life on turn two and three. Jeez. If I don't play conservative. Like, I ha I've had to learn to play conservative with that deck, mainly for the simple fact that it just... 
it, if it taps out too much and I don't have that good G on board, I can die too fast. Especially when I don't yeah. have the Universe 11 on the board. Because that, that Duran needs a Universe 11 on the board. So if the Universe 11 is not on board by turn 2, I have to play very conservatively. Like, you notice I didn't have Zori and Kunchi until, like, turn 3. Yeah. So I had to wait, so I had to slow down how I played. Yeah. And then, and then once you saw I had the fence out, then all of a sudden Raiders Warcry right started hitting board. Yeah. That's when the apes come out, because the apes that come out just hit you hard and multiple times. Yeah, that thing's, that thing's annoying. The apes, my god. And then imagine if I had like six to eight energy down here. So strong. Like if I went with a long gamer that just would play their deck, do nothing to me, and we went to like turn six through eight, that deck just becomes a stupid big board of eights with Universe 11 defense and Duran just sitting there pounding away as well. Damn, boy. Yeah, that's that deck. Fish. <laughs> oh, and by the way, there's that Galactic Buster. <laughs> Thank okay. you for that. Hey, I didn't know that thing's uh, really useful, huh? That. Yeah, that and blue. So I gotta get three more of them. But that and blue is like... That's a staple in blue right now. Get out of my way! I actually didn't even know. I actually didn't even know. I was like, alright. That's why I said pretty much that Galactic Buster was all I needed. Yeah. Because here's the thing, <laughs> this little stack here, that's the only cards that I need to get, like, extras of right now. That I don't have four of. Mm -hmm. I like the last three sets. Which some of these mm -hmm. are actually have already been ordered. Like, that's been ordered. Yeah. Uh, that's been ordered. That's been ordered. Yeah. She's been ordered. He's been ordered. He's been ordered. <laughs> I haven't ordered that yet. I need to order that. I need these. Yeah, yeah these are the... I only pulled, like, SPRs, too. It's, like, only SPR Bardox, only SPR Android 18. How many boxes you open? Uh, this last set, uh... Four? Yeah, I opened four. That's what I was telling you when you were doing that stream of opening that box. Yeah. That the pull rates were just atrocious. Like, I had to get four boxes just to get a decent pull rate. And even that, I got more rares than I did anything else. And then I got a few SPRs. Like, I got quite a few SPRs. But I had to go through four boxes to get what I got. At that rate, you might as well buy the singles. Yeah, and that's pretty much what it's gone down to for uh, the last last few sets. Is you've been It's just been singles. Well, because I'm a collector first versus, uh, yeah. like, crazy, powerful, like, player. Like, I, I don't do uh, tournament play. I really don't. Damn, you should, man. Nah. It, it's not for you? It, it gets too boring for me. You're too good, that's why. No, it's because it's people. Yeah. In what, in what sense? Like... Hold on, let me get to this here. Mm -hmm. I'd like. So, so for me, it's because uh, competitive players, they're just too. I, I guess you just say it's just they're too salty, more than anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it gets old. Get it, yeah. it gets old seeing that in the uh, competitive play. Yeah. And when you see that, time in, time out, and I've been playing TCDs for. Yeah, 20 years now. Man. I've been playing since 2001. I started with Magic. I went to... I played Yu-Gi-Oh! when it came out. Uh, yeah. Pokemon never also, got also big on Yu -Gi -Oh. Yeah. Pokemon never got into competitive because at the time I was a kid and it was just... Trade Pikachu for Mew. Trade Mew for yeah, Mewtwo. Yeah. You know, it, was, yeah. it was a trading card. It wasn't... It wasn't really a card game. I mean, yeah, I get it. It was a TCG. It was competitive level. But for me, it just... At the time I was so young, I didn't play competitive. Uh, but then I got into Magic. When I got into Magic, I started playing Legacy and Modern, which can get up to like $4,000 to $8,000 decks at yeah. the low end. Yeah. Like, I had a Miracles deck, which everybody watching this video will know if they play Magic, they've seen Miracles. It is a top 10 in Modern. It's sitting at about $6,200. Damn. Uh, then I played a Leyline deck, which was modern. 
it sat because of the lands I played. It sat at about nine thousand uh, dollars. I played Slivers and Legacy. Slivers currently are sitting at twelve thousand dollars because I played all the original dual lands, which include like Volcanic Island, which by itself is twelve hundred dollars. I have play sets, so I have Volcanic Island. I have Tundra. I had all the old dual lands that are you anywhere still, you from. Still have them? You still have them, or you I got them? out of Magic. I, I got completely out of Magic. Uh, especially when I started really getting into DDS, I got out of Magic because, one, I didn't like the communities. It was too much getting into, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, where you get all these kids yeah. that are just, you lose, and they become salty, they start table flipping, yeah. and they start getting mad. And then also the kids that got into the game, this is, I hate saying this, but a lot of the kids in the game also just stank. Yeah. They didn't bathe, they didn't, they didn't do personal hygiene. And being one of the older guys in the groups, it got really old real fast. I sit yeah. there and smell them while I'm playing a game that requires concentration. Especially when yeah. I'm playing Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! Because my decks, as you see, I don't, I don't do like this simple play and mindless game. I have a lot of interactions. My uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. deck was a Blue Eyes deck. And the Blue Eyes mm-hmm. deck was ultimately going from Blue Eyes... And play Blue Eyes like 9 or 10 times in the game. Mm-hmm. But I would Synchro, I would XYZ, I would Union... Or not Union, but the, uh... Yeah, whatever the blue cards are. Uh... The new Link, one? The Link Summons. The Link, Link yeah. yeah. So I'll Link Summon, like, Boral Sword out. And then I'll Link up, like, Synchro Summons of the Zer Eyes, the Zer Blue Eyes, and all these other guys. And by the time I was done, I'd have a board state completed with the U that I had two Link Summons out. Link Spider, Boral Sword. I had... Azure eyes and blue eyes, and all of them are swinging for like 3,000 apiece. Jeez. We're doing nachos for dinner tonight because I have yet to finish my homework and exams. Okay. You're in the YouTube video, Mom. Oh, well. Make spaghetti. She's making spaghetti. No, we're doing nachos. Nachos? Yeah. But, uh. Sounds good. So that was Yu Gi Oh! is I had everything set up to where I could create my U, and I would swing at you for anywhere from twelve to 28,000 damage. Hmm. So, I mean, it was just a lot. But I liked playing aggressive like that, but at the same time, everything maneuvered with itself. Uh, it, it, you had to have some form of brain capacity in order to play. Same with my magic decks. Miracles, if you don't know what you're doing, you will lose so badly. Uh, Leyline was all about luck, but it was a fun luck, because you had to have seven specific cards in your opening hand. Uh, and I had one kid who was playing standard, who said I could beat anybody if I was allowed to play my current, my blue deck I have. I was like, oh, you can, okay. huh? I was like, all right, well, how about this? We'll start with whatever opening hands you want. You can choose your seven. I'll choose my seven. You can choose if you go first or second. It's like, well, I'll go first. I was like, all right, cool. Whatever. He starts and he plays one blue land. I'm like, cool. I was like, before you start your turn, though, I'm going to play these five ley line cards. He's like, why? I'm like, because they say if they're in my opening hand, they can play. So all five of them play automatically. He's like, okay, well, no big deal. There's just enchantments. What are the enchantments doing? Like, really nothing. Like, one gives, like, spores, plus two, plus two. And the other one does, like, swamp walking. Like, it's really not great. Yeah. But they don't have really, like, a stupid amount of power. So I was like, okay, yeah. whatever, cool. I'll, I'll let you play. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you'll let me play. I was like, all right, so I play one land. It's called Sarasanko. Adds white for every enchantment on the board. I have five enchantments on the board. Tap it for five white. I play another enchantment. It's called Obolescence. It makes okay. all my enchantments creatures with power and toughness equal to their mana cost. Every single ley line is a 4 drop. I just played 5. Yeah. Before my turn. Which means they do not have summoning sickness. So they have all just now became 4-4 four, four creatures. Swing for 5-4-4s. Four, Damn. Game. I win. I won turn 0. But that had to be the opening hand. It had to be Sarah's yeah, from yeah. Opalescence and four oil lines. Yeah. So, but that was a luck game, but you still had to know what you were doing. It all interacted. All right. Yeah. And that's kind of why I got out of it, because a lot of those kids just got mad, because, like, I'm doing all of it. I mean, you saw that yellow deck. You, there was a lot going on at one time, right? Yeah. And even though, yes, DBS is a little slower paced, and you can kind of step it out, uh... The magic doesn't have that capacity. Same with you, you can do a lot more, a lot faster. Yeah. So my decks became that way, and because of how the competitive nature of everybody is, 
I got out of competitive. And then when I saw DBS taking the same route, I was, I'm still a level one judge. I still go every once in a while to the competition. But yeah. for me, it's just, eh. Like, I don't need to see salty kids out there playing DBS. And yeah. on top of that, because DBS is so new, yeah. everything revolves around a meta. And so I'm going to see eight to nine of the same yeah. deck over and over and over again. Like, look at the, I mean, look at Gen Con, look at the regionals. How many of those decks did you see on that? Like, in regionals itself. I guarantee you saw, like, six Dark Broly. You saw nine Vegito. Oh, you yeah. saw, you know, all these decks, but they're the same deck. Because one or two people were making these decks, and they became stupid good competitively. And then that was it. That, that's all they should wrote. So, it, DBS doesn't allow for a lot of, like, how you and me are at the moment. Because you and me, technically, yeah. are called rogue players. If you went in with that Vegeta starter deck, you're a rogue player. You're not playing the meta. I go with Duran or Demigra. You don't see yellow Duran playing. You see red Duran being played. Which you notice, I posted that video before red Duran became popular. Because yeah. I played Duran. I knew red Duran when they released those cards. I knew red Duran was going to be meta. I called it in my video even. Red Duran is going to be meta. Watch. Here's the red based Duran deck. Yeah. This is what people are going to run. And sure enough, you look at any of those red trend builds, 90% of my deck is already on it. I'm like, oh, look, I'm a meta player, but I don't play it. I didn't break out. I, like, I have red trend built. He's sitting over there. I have King Cole built. I have Sin Shenron built. I have King Vegeta built. All these meta decks are built so that I can build around it and beat them. Yeah. Because I hate meta that much. Yeah. Like, I will build a rogue deck to beat meta all day and lose to everybody else. <laughs> Any day of the week. I mean, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. But that's why I've stepped back from competitive, is because it's just like, I don't want to see the same deck 30 times in the tournament. I, I, if I go Swiss and yeah. I go five, six rounds, if I see the five, same five decks and same my rogue deck as I lost to the same that deck already once a day, yeah. I'm just going to scoop. I'm going to sit yeah. down, I'm going to see the leader, I'm going to be like, yeah, this, this, and this. Well, yeah, of course I do. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Good win. So on but, top of all yeah. that, you know, it also doesn't help anybody grow. Yeah, no, yeah. If you're playing with the same stuff, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're playing with the same stuff, but not only that, if I'm scooping, and say they haven't played that deck very much, how uh, do they know what's wrong with that deck? That's true. How do they, do they know how to play that deck? Yes, they may have play tested a million times, but they do, do they know how to play the mirror match? Do they know how to play against a rogue that actually can deal with their deck? No, because they don't test it. They just know it works. They get a they get a build off of TCG or off of DBS decks or Deck Planet. Mm. They build it. They play a few times at locals because a lot of the locals around everywhere can't. A lot of those guys maybe can't afford those meta decks. I mean, those meta decks are sent from anywhere from what four or five hundred dollars to anywhere to twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. And as a new player. Would you go out and spend eight hundred dollars for one deck? Hell no. And not only that, but possibly also something get banned or limited in it to the point that it's now useless because yeah. of so many broken interactions. Because what Bandai loves to do is when they see a meta being stasis, like it's the same meta for two or three months, they'll ban key cards in those metas. Yeah. And those decks become useless, like completely yeah. useless. Like they'll ban like the Broly promo, or they limit it or rot it. Like Cell Surge, when Cell Surge SCR was at its peak, it was at a three hundred dollar SCR, mm. and Cell Surge broke. I mean, turn three, you were playing Cell Surge. Now you have to wait till turn five. Now look, it's a hundred sixty dollar card. Yeah. So it went from one of the most expensive SCRs to the middle of the pack, all because yeah. they didn't rot. They didn't even ban it. They rotted it to wait till turn five. That's it. You had to wait two more turns. It dropped that drastically. Same with any of these promos that come out, they're just broken as hell. Any of these cards that you see, like the, uh, if you go look at the band meta list, or the band list, yeah. you'll see a bunch of Universe 3. Like, weird, right? Commons. They're commons and uncommons, they're just, eh, okay, they seem good. In the Jex, though, they were broke. Like, you were just cycling the Jex. And then just playing and killing people. Like, in one turn. Like, turn two or three. You would start cycling out this Universe 3 stuff, and then boom, done. 
that it was stupidly broken that they put an emergency ban on Universe 3. Which, mind you, they had only had Universe 3 off for like two weeks. Out of that set. That was a draft box set. They did an emergency ban on draft box. Yeah. Mind you, look at your current reprints. Oh, There's like three or four draft box cards that are currently used in meta today oh. that are draft boxes. Wish, uh, but I do remember when the game came out. Huh? A Child's Wish? Oh god, yeah. Oh god, yeah, that was so bad. That At the time when it was originally printed, that thing was doing... Oh god, that was doing... Oh, it was to resurrect. Uh... Well, no, at the time, it was like allowing you to get like Gogeta's out. Um... Like that Gogeta that's banned on there? That Child's Wish used to be able to bring that Gogeta's out. Or, like, uh, between that and another card. Like, Child's Wish just got everything that... Child's Wish got World Peace back. World Peace would then play Gogeta. And you do it for, like, free. So you get an 8-drop killer. Turn 3. No problems. It just kill you. And that was, like, a... Me that was a huge meta for, like, a good 6 months. It was a, sh it was a Shenron deck. It was a Wish deck. Yeah. It was just a broken Wish deck. And so they banned a child's wish and they rotted world peace and it killed the deck. Completely killed it. Like the Jex is the only deck I've seen in this game that has survived multiple ban list hits and keep going. Mm. It is the only deck that has is even capable of doing that. Damn. Because it survived U3 being banned. It survived yeah. uh Goku Vegeta Bands. It survived with Wattas. Everything. It is still surviving and still top 80. Damn. Like, the only other deck that's top 80 that people are surprised about is Invoker. But I already told everybody, Invoker's going to stay around. Just because they rotted one card doesn't mean crap. Invoker still does Invoker. Because they rotted it to where, like, the kill, the kill card is, like, once a turn or something like that. Instead of using, like, three or four of them at once. But it's still a victory strike deck. Mm. It, it still has there's two cards in the game that have victory strike which is if they hit you at all if they hit your life at all, you're dead they win it's the same concept as Beerus being able to tap down 16 auto win the game if these two victory strikers hit your life in any form or fashion they auto win Yeah. that's the whole point of the SCR is victory strike, if they hit your life you win, that's it Yeah. nothing else and there's two of those cards. One that's sitting at like two thousand dollars, and the other one's sitting at fourteen hundred yeah. dollars. Yeah. And I can the apex, right? The apex and the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In fact. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. There's your twelve hundred dollar card. <laughs> that binder is what like twenty grand. Uh, twenty grand. If I add everything in this room, I'm probably sitting on thirty-two thousand dollars. Between the Jeez. Digimon cards, the Dragon Ball cards, and the Warhammer itself. Because I also have Yikes. Warhammer forty K back here. Oh, okay. And then uh, my wife's art studio and all the anime, like yeah, memorabilia, yeah, yeah. probably about thirty-two thousand. Like I know for a fact the Warhammer army alone's twelve thousand dollars. It's just standing more right than, now. More than. More than. Probably. Like, probably. Because I have some that are professionally painted. By Dark Bunny Creatives. Yeah. yeah. So because they're Dark Bunny Creatives, I can still sell them at their value. And that's about $900 for them alone. And those are only 10 pieces. Out of a 10,000 point army, which is like, I think, 360 pieces. Wow. So that's 10, limited as hell. Yeah, so 10 alone is going to give me like almost 1,000 bucks. Just 10 yeah. pieces. And that does include all the other pieces I have and all the, like, Lords of War and everything else that are easily 200 bucks a piece. So I got, like, five Lords of War that are 200 bucks each. So there's $1,000. So I'm already sitting at two grand and 15 pieces. Out of 300. <laughs> there you go. And then, I mean, you just saw I have a $1,200 card just sitting in a binder. That's, like, I, I got to get that probably a lot. You, you got more in there. Oh, I'm you gonna get those graded. There. I'm getting that graded. Awaken in there. I know you got awaken in there. Mm -mm. 
Well, the SCRs I don't own. Oh. If I get that Apex rated, I can afford yeah. another Apex and the Awakened Power Goku. So I'll have two SCRs off that I can collect because uh, as of now, I'm missing five SCRs, five or six, out of the entire game. Wow. And uh, if I get that graded, I could sell that and literally get get it back. They're wrong. Yeah. Get another Awakened Power and probably get most of the SCRs I'm missing, non graded. Yeah. And then my SCR collection would be complete. All for one card that's graded, and it's only like a $50 grade. If I send it to PSA for 160 bucks, that becomes like a nine to $10,000 card. If I get anything over an eight. If, if, and you saw the condition. That condition stays that way. Yeah. So that's like a nine or a 10 right now sitting in that binder. Yeah. So if I get PSA graded on that, I'll just go sell it off, and then I'll get more. I'll get another Apex. I'll get the other Waking Power for two grand. And I'll get the rest of them and be like, done. Here you go. I have my SCR collection. Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and re-grade like three or four of them. Now I have a PSA Awaken 10. I have a PSA 10 Awaken Power. I have a PSA 10 Apex of Power. I have a PSA 10 freaking oh, Cell. Cool. I just got to get them Yeesh. sent in. That's all I'm... Yeah. I'm just waiting for money to send that in. Um, yeah. Like, probably Monday I'll order like two of the SCRs I'm missing too. Cell being yeah. one. Because I have... Yeah. You saw at the beginning of the video we were making. I was I'm making cell surge again, and then I have a green yellow Broly I'm making. On top of the Bardock deck I'm making. Like oh my God. like if I took you around the room, you would see every deck. There's I mean just sitting like right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven decks. Like within arm's reach. A couple of thousands too. Yeah, like one right here. That's where we go. Lovely little hooker again. I just don't know what to do with it yet. <laughs> I don't know which leader I want to do and what I want to put in it, but I mean that's just one deck. I got a bunch just sitting here doing everything. <laughs> Let's go. But uh, hopefully that helped you though. Playing those no, two no, games. I did. I learned. I learned a lot, uh, uh, like mechanics-wise and like uh, timing. Like it was a little confusing in the beginning, but uh, the second game kind of picking it up more. So I, I yeah. gotta play more for sure. And like for I said, sure. that beer deck is great for you to learn every mechanic in a deck you make. So that yeah. Vegeta deck is great to start with because there's not as many mechanics as something like. Jiren apes or Red Jiren yeah. or any of the other current meta. There's not just that much. You just gotta do play your thing, do your thing, exactly. learn how to interact with the deck. Because like that deck, to be honest, you need to be comboing like those little guys off after they're played. Yeah. And you need to be awakening sooner. Like you awaken turn two. You never awaken yeah. turn two. Because once you hit Kaba, you awaken, Kaba gets up to three, you untap two, you go down to five life. Cool. So it's a self-awakener on turn two. No other leader is really a self-awakener on turn two. Not by itself. Like, you need, mm -hmm. like, for any other red card, you need, like, intensifying trunks and saying Cobb on board to self-awaken on turn two. That's just how it is. Your yeah. deck naturally does it, so you can go first or second. So if you go first, mm -hmm. turn two, though, you're still self-awakening, and you've only lost technically... Let's see, you're at eight, you take one, you've lost two extra life. Yeah. In early game. But early game, now you're at 15k, you're giving your same combo double strike immediately. Meh. Just meh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you're increasing the power of your same combo if you do anything else. So if someone wants to try to hit your same combo, it's like, oh, auto, Vegeta, I'm going to give him 6k. And I'm going to negate the, att the attack, by the way. Yeah. And then with your Gohan... I can remember that with the Unison. Yeah, and then with your Gohan, you don't tap out for them. You've used your two little guys already for what they need. Yeah, One that's play... what I was trying to do, the combo. combo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so if you, yeah, if you play the uh, Raditz, he's already plussed up your guy. Or Vegeta. He's already plussed up Kaba. And then you've already played the three-drop Trunks. He's already done everything he can do. Now they're just sitting there, really not doing much. They're only 10Ks. Well, cool. 
swing with Vegeta leader, who's awakened, who's going to beef up Kaba. Kaba with those two, then play Gohan. And it's like, whoops. Yeah. And believe it or not, there are red cards out there that allow you to uh, combo with tapped same cards. It's in, like, Red Yamcha. I'll send you that deck list uh, so you can kind of go through it and see what, like, a red deck does. Because your yeah. deck is, like, half burn, half power boost. Beat down? Yeah, power yeah. boost, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a power boost with some burn. Well, if you can even those out a little more, that deck does become competitive. Yeah. Because if you can burn more, like, your combo only burns one time. Yeah. And then eh, you're not going to get another six markers on it. Yeah. Because after, like, say any normal competitive player, one, they're going to go after Kaba. Two, if they get burned one time, they will kill Kaba. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. now Kaba's going to be down to, like, one, maybe two markers. One. Yeah. And I'm just going to swing like crazy. Like, yeah. no, forget your life. Kaba's dead. And if I know you're running most of that starter deck, you only have two Kabas. You only have four. Which you need to mm-hmm. probably replace the Topos. Those two Topos with... Or is it Topo or Napa? Whatever the other... Or Master Roshi. The two Master Roshis oh, I yeah, replace. Roshi, yeah. yeah, I'd get yeah. another one of those starter decks, replace the Master Roshis with two Kabas. With two Kabas, yeah. Yeah, I would run four Kabas versus two and two split. Yeah. Um, But, I mean, there's so many other things. Like, you can run Sin Shenron Unison. It burns like crazy. And next things, too. Um, For Super Kabas, I'd use Wii Celestial Power. You saw that. It neg 10Ks mm-hmm. everything. I mean, I killed two of your guys with two super combos and beefed my guy up 20k. Yeah. So it's like, whoops. Um, <laughs> you have Yamcha Merciless Barrage. I'd probably run four because he burns yeah. like crazy. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's just so much red that can do burn and, like, burn life and burn the cards themselves. That's just like, ow. Like, Violet yeah. Rays. It's at like 20 some bucks right now. Violet Rays is such a good card, and it's good in any red deck. It's kind of one of those, like, red staple cards. What is it? Bad. Violent Rays. Oh, okay, got it, I got it. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be Broly doing, like, a yeah. yep. attack from his mouth. Yeah. Uh-uh, that's the right card. So, yeah, that's a great red counter. Yeah. And it works so well for that Vegeta deck. Like, if I didn't yeah. have... Like, yeah, I'm not good at... Yeah, like that Vegeta deck is being torn apart to beef up Yamcha. Because my Yamcha deck is ridiculous. Like yeah. using the lo- Yamcha leader, like, hold on, let me show you this Yamcha leader. Ugh. Like I said, decks everywhere. Oh, good. So that's the Yamcha leader. Oh, so yep. Three to ten. Yeah. So when your card tags yeah. with top two cards, top deck, add one red card among them to your hand, place the remaining cards in your drop area. Yeah, no big deal, right? Uh, if you have a red unison in play, when your opponent takes damage from a non-keyword skill on your battle cards or unison cards, deal one damage to your opponent, then negate the skill for the game. Mm. Kaba? Hmm. Mm. Kyle's next six. Uh, it's a non keyword skill that burns your opponent for one damage. Uh, Yamcha, leader, trigger, auto, take another one. You just made them take two for attacking your leader. For attacking your leader. Uh, for literally attacking your leader, you just made them take two life. Oh. Uh, That's the whole deck. It's green, red. It's evil. There you go. Jeez. Vegeta, powerful as ever. Oh, yeah, that's the... When this card carries an opponent's battle card, deal a damage to their life. Is that a red drop. card? Yeah, it's a three red drops. Vegeta. I think I have that card. I have that card. It's a promo. Very cheap promo. Powerful as ever. Kill a battle card. Uh, they take a life. Uh, got same I, gotta, I gotta go through my. I gotta do, go through my cards now. Lightning fast hit. Evolve. When a card evolves into this card, and put two damage to your opponent. For four. Whoops. I, I don't do anything. I just evolve. You just evolve and 
and, 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 and by the way, when he evolves, that's an auto skill, not a keyword skill. Yeah, I'm just awake inside auto's triggers. I just made you take three life from me evolving my card. And by the way, activate main for three. I play hit time space transcender from anywhere. Or excuse me, no. Choose up to one red hit card in your drop area or walk with energy cost of six. Evolve this card onto it. Turn three. I evolve with lightning fast hit. Then you got Master Roshi. Marshall Virtuoso. Counter Egg. Innocent Princess Chi Chi. Oh, here's a fun one. Nappa. It can only oh, be a mono the, red. Yeah, it can be a mono red. I or. Yeah. If you have non red cards in areas, you can't play this card. Whatever. When you play this card from your hand, choose one card in your opponent's life. Place it on a drop area. I'm just going to crit one of your lives. And I get to choose which life, too. I choose which life you crit. Whoops. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that guy's banned now. So I gotta change that up. Send Shenron Unison. Uh, plus one. Choose two of your opponent's battle cards. They get minus 15k power for the turn. Uh, permanent. Your red cards can attack your opponent's battle cards in active mode. Ooh, that's the one. So that Vegeta that can KO yeah. and then burn you for life. Now it can attack your like little Saiyan Kaba. Kill it. Damn. FDC it, make it double strike, 10k. Yeah. Minus two, look at your opponent's hand, choose up to one battle card with 25,000 power or less and discard it. That's, that's Sin Shenron. Nappa, super combo that uh, allows me to arrival out Chompa and Beerus, mm. which is when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with 20,000 power or less, KO it, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost 6 or less, or choose one of your other battle cards with energy cost 6 or less, it gains double strike. Mm -hmm. Broly Demonic Origins for energy. Beta Kaioken is another rival. It's a rival card. Green, red. Yeah. Uh, choose one card of your life out to your hand. If you have three or less, your leader card is a Saiyan card. This card gains double strike and dual attack for the duration of the turn. Some FDCs. Chi Chi for no reason. Uh, Master Roshi. Which now I can replace with Kaba. And then yeah. SS3 scrambled. SCR. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So the only thing really I'd have to edit in that deck is to remove the red IR Nappas if I want to do the full red green package. Yeah. But I could still burn for everything. Jeez. And that's not including the side cards that I haven't yeah. even, like, touched. Man. That, that, that's. that's a simple deck that works really well with yours. Yeah. Like, that's the whole reason I even got the Vegeta deck, was because I wanted to tweak Yamcha. Yeah. Like, no other reason other than tweak Yamcha. Yeah. Because that's an evil little deck. Yeah. I mean, you think how much you were doing damage to my stuff. Imagine tweaking it with this Yamcha build. <laughs> or you tweak your Vegeta deck with a Yamcha build. Yeah. Like, put Yamcha in the leader instead. Or even leave yeah. Vegeta. You can leave Vegeta. Yeah. It's, it's going to help your Saint Kaba. But it wouldn't help, like, the rest of the package. While Yamcha helps the rest of the package. And Kaba still supports Yamcha. Because uh, if right. they switch your leader, Kaba... I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to try to be beef it up somehow. I have to read some cards. Well, your Raditz SCR is only, like, 60 70 bucks. Violet Ray is the most expensive counter right now, but most of that deck is not that expensive. Yeah. Lightning Fast Hit is only like two bucks. I mean, you went through some of these cards on your YouTube channel over being cheap cards that are beautiful looking cards. Like the same Kavas. Like, you went over some of these decks, or some of these cards already. 
So you have a lot of this all ready to go, and you, all you just got to do is find it and then put it in the deck. Your you deck go. is so tweakable, and it's like... Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, if I go with just this Vegeta build, I mean, what I pull out... I mean, you already got Johnson versus Barashid in there, so I'll just put two more of them. i probably leave the Sprite Song Go Goku to two. Uh, or Son Gohan to two. Yeah. Uh, Spirit Boost Warrior probably leave. Kaba to increase to four. I don't even get to use this card, the Son Goku one. Yep. Uh, same Kaba to increase. Uh, actually, no, you have Intense. I'd probably replace the two Intense Five Trucks with same Kabas. Uh, I probably, I probably definitely remove the uh, blue Android 18 and the green Android yeah. 18. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I didn't know. Uh, I've removed they were there Niagara for. Drop. I've removed Master Roshi. Like, yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to use the Niagara Drop, but I didn't find the opportunity really. Yeah, some like, of those eh. activate battles are tricky on how you want to use them and when to use them. Yeah. So you have to use the right activate battles for the right ones. Like Kaba's Awakening is easy to use. The free drop. Yeah. I mean, it's just nice and quick. And you get 6,000 power on a red card. Yeah. Like, it's a red card. So it's not even just battle cards. Unisons and leaders. Yeah. Yeah. You can Kaba Awaken it. So it's like, oh, okay. You get a plus 6k. So if someone's only 5k stronger and you get a plus 6k, you won. Yeah. So, I mean, the deck is very valuable. But it's how you want to make it. Do you want Malia but it's mono red? Or do you want to make it red green? Because red green right now is... Not right now, but red green itself, they work so well together. Really? Red blue only works together in Invoker. Red yellow, I haven't even seen it. Like, the Whis and like an old Beerus deck work pretty well together with red yellow. And an old Goku deck that's been errata was good red yellow. But you, have, you don't see very much red-yellow combinations anymore. Uh, you'll see it with, like, Duran, but that's really it. Like, red-yellow Duran is about the only ones that go crazy good at the moment. Yeah. Uh, uh, and this one, uh, let me switch. There's, like, a card. You probably have it. Piccolo and the Mechian Fortification. I didn't really get to, I didn't really get it's, like, auto. Like, I'm like, oh, is it? Like, same concept as a Kaba. And intensifying power trunks of self awakener. It's to let you self awaken and it gets plus it just gets big. And I think it restates it. Because right? when this card attacks, switch this card to active mode, and then it gets so But it, it can't attack for the turn. So it's... it attacks twice. So you swing with it plus five or you swing at it. Say you yep. increase it with like further instruction choppa. Correct. So it's now fifteen K double strike. Auto, take a life, restand it, it's now 15k again, then you swing again. Oh, So you okay. essentially, with one guy, hit for three life if you do, a, like, an FDC. Or a uh, hidden potential Kai. She, she's the same thing, she'll give it double strike as well. Mm. <clears throat> so there's ways to make it very stupid. It's just, you, you gotta use more cards. Yeah. And for a self-awakening card, it's meh. It just makes it 15k. Why would I could do it with like saying Kaba or intensifying power trunks to give it like crit or double strike and crit? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I mean, mm -hmm. and the nice thing is, you even saw a card that gives your stuff crit. That red Frieza Imperial in the beer stack. You grab two, three of those. They're red, but they don't cost red to use them because you combo with them and you make them crit. So, yeah. here, here's the fun thing, right? Kaba's double strike. You swing with Kaba. Then you use the Frieza. It's now double strike and critical. Whoops. Or you swing with your Kaba, your Unison Kaba. Mm -hmm. Use double strike from your lead ability. Correct. Then you put that Frieza, right Frieza, now he's double strike and crit. Or say you swing with Vegeta himself, right? He doesn't get any bigger, but if I do FDC and that Trunks for three, or not that Trunks, but that Vegeta, he's now 15k, 25k, 35k, double strike and crit. 
Because you also got to remember, you're also adding combo power. And Frieza and FDC are both 10k powers. So FDC is going to give you plus 10k in double strike. The Frieza is going to give you plus 10k in critical. So it's like, oh, and they're red. Oh, look, I have the Sim Shenron unison that lets me play, lets me attack you in active mode. Active. Oh, look, I have the Gita Discipline Warrior that if it KOs any of your stuff, Man. you lose a life. Oh, God, Yamcha's on board and he's awakened, which means that if I just burned you for one with a non keyword skill, I'd burn you again. Whoops. <laughs> Mind you, that was only with four cards. And by the way, you still gotta deal with the attack. Yeah. So I'm swinging at you for 35k double strike and crit, and I'm burning you for two. I took you for four life with two cards. Or three cards. Whoops. <laughs> it just whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to read a lot more, man. I'm more uh, motivated to read, man. I'll send you the Yamcha build so you can kind of see the uh, cards that are there that are yeah. mono red, and uh, some red rings that'll help you out. Uh, obviously, you don't have to, I, if you don't want to, don't run the red-green package. Just run the mono-red yeah, package. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the mono first before moving into, like, like a, like different, like, red-green, like, red-yellow and stuff like that. I want to get used to, like, just mono first. Oh, that's mono hard. Next. What happens? Oh, I just figured out how to adjust my cameras, like... Oh. Oh, and I could do this. All right. Okay. And turn. Yeah, it's making me very now. <laughs> you have any plans afterwards? Or uh, probably go to get ready to make dinner for the kids and the wife. God. Yeah. Right. Five o'clock. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Well, I'll send you this video. Um. Hey, thanks, John. I appreciate it. I learned a lot. I honestly learned a lot. Yep. If you want to do another one, just let me know. Of course. For sure. And, For uh, sure. Yeah, like I said, I'd probably do an intro and outro kind of like clipping. If I can ever fix yes. this thing. Yeah, whatever. But uh, I'd probably do extra videos and do whatever edits you want to do. No worries. No worries. Just send me uh, what you got. Yeah, I'll send you this one. It's a three-hour video right now. Three hour? Oh my god. Welcome to one That's of my videos. <laughs> Alright, man. Well, I'll let you keep going. Alright. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No. We'll do this again for sure. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to beef up the deck somehow. <laughs> <laughs> let me know, man. I'll, like I said, I'll send you that list, alright? Alright, man. All right, I'll talk to you later, bro. Thanks a lot, man.